everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Shane is back. Hi. Hey, 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 hey guys, Chris from Varsity Gaming here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Shane from Dominican Republic. He has a nice tan <laughs> going. I mean, from yeah. what? Dominican Republic. Okay. Yeah, I'm sitting in Dominican, the room. I'm, I'm darker than Christian right now. Yeah, Shane yeah. has officially surpassed Christian's yeah. skin pigment. This happens every single time. Yeah, I was going to say, anytime, anytime I get any sun, yeah. <laughs> But I, it needs to be mentioned every single time. Yeah, yeah of course. And it doesn't like I, I I wake up and look at the moon and I pass your guys' color. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was tan when I went to, got back from Cuba earlier this year, though. Yeah. I could tell because I had tan lines. I have a picture. My phone's dead. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Just shows us a full body nude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you do. Yeah. The only time I've ever been tan was when I did work out in BC. Uh, that's pretty much it. When you were working out in BC? Oh, work out you were, in BC. You weren't even that tan. You were just red. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. Like you're just a different you, shade do you of what tan you are or now. Do you just get reddened? I, I just, <laughs> I just, I just burn, man. <laughs> like, look at this. Put on some sunglasses, but there you go. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. I want to see how white your inner thighs are, bro. You <laughs> really, <laughs> you really do. <laughs> That's yeah. Is that your was, pickup line on Tinder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like in the summer, I spent. Remember, I told you guys, I spent like 120 bucks or 110 bucks on two bathing suits. And at the time, I was like, "That's a lot of money for two bathing suits." Yeah. I'm gonna buy two more tonight. Like, yeah. They were literally Whoa. the best investment I've ever. Were they like the ones that dry off quick and like yeah, they really dry soft fast. They your... have pockets like. And again, one was like shorter than I normally get. Yeah, dude, short base to the way to go, man. You should see. Do they me? have like a bag, like a mesh bag? Yeah, yeah. Your, and it actually, yeah. like at first, I was gonna rip the mesh out. Do you need it? it it's feels, so good. It feels nice oh, when you're really? in water and yeah, just, yeah. Like, a bag, I'm not like, even kidding. Like it's you, but like it doesn't. It doesn't. It just holds everything. Yeah, that's, that's the, the best first way to put thing it. I do with any new bathing suit is just I cut it out. Same. Wait, why? I hate. I hate it when I love it doesn't the feeling, have a mesh. Bro. Oh, I can't stand I, the mesh. I guess, well, I got chafed. So. I wear boxers though. But again, this is boxers and a bathing suit. <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is the first time like the bathing suits fit like perfect though oh that's blast where'd you Sam. get it from it's like a site called i think it's like chubbies chubbies it's super random today we want to raise our sponsor <laughs> chubbies yeah this guy was out here measuring his inseam before he bought yeah, this yeah because <laughs> they're like five inch inseam i was like what I the hell is the that fuck that means yeah <laughs> i wouldn't know what the fuck to do if someone well, said it means if you have smaller than a five inch dick yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. NC, so we're all good in this sense. room uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah it, anyway they fit perfect um, that's great yeah trip was good that's blessed bathing suits are like an like a sneaky comfortable thing to wear around the house too because i i hate the feeling of wearing like multiple layers of clothes yeah see you you, you still have it at home i just wear boxes all day oh right yeah <laughs> see, Honestly. I, my parents don't let me chill in my boxes all the time like wait really some, well like they don't they don't directly say you can't show in your boxers but if i'm like coming upstairs and just boxers they're like put some clothes on you fucking clown <laughs> Rob, they're, just being, like, they're like what if what if company shows up Rob, you're just, being unprofessional yeah literally Mom, we're at home yeah. Mom, it's 11 p.m on a saturday night <laughs> there's no job interviews to get i want a glass of milk <laughs> <laughs> rob's baby yoda <laughs> i'm the baby yoda when he steps the or is like can we talk spoilers I guess I'm I, mean, I haven't even seen the show. Yeah, so. I haven't seen the show ever. I'm it's just talking. Wait, so you guys haven't seen The Mandalorian? No. Have you, Drew? Yeah, buddy. I haven't Drew. seen the news. Drew, you're supposed to be studying. studying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You don't have time for TV shows, when right? You're studying. Which is why I haven't watched the new episode. All right. Fair. Yeah, you win this round. You were supposed to be studying for the last six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What should Drew be studying for? We should probably share with the, share with uh, everyone. Yeah, so I'm sure everyone knows by now. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know if you're talking about it too much, but studying for your CFA level one. Hmm. Should be, be accountant or some shit? Yeah, something like that, sure. What's CFA stand for? Chartered Financial Analyst. Oh, yeah. Accountant. I thought the A was stood for accountant, to be honest, but maybe I'm just dumb. No, it's dumb CPA. As fuck. You're thinking of the chartered, chartered professional. professional. Oh, accountant. are you going to do that also at some point? Eh, some people do. Me, probably not. Eh. I think the accounting aspect's my least favorite part. Yeah, fuck that. How are you supposed to be my accountant? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be shit. your portfolio manager. I couldn't do ah, that, man. Broke. I'm so fucking done with school and tests and studying, bro. Like, yeah. fuck that. I mean, I was I, talking about going back for a master's. So. Oh, gosh. Like, oh, I might well, in, like, you. a few years if yeah. I need it. But, but like... And as I'm talking, I mean, like, the application's writ up. Because yeah. I guess you have to apply, like, within the next couple of weeks, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. It's um, like you need to have, like, a fuck ton of different references, too. It's like you need two academic references correct two, it's insane yeah two like personal references and what two i professional what i don't get is something. like so like she's older now they're going off her grades in university how does it make any sense now when you've been at a school like yeah. five six years and she I had postgrad <laughs> but she had postgrad in between and her postgrad marks were like 80s 90s but they just, they don't look at that they're looking that right no, at the university because they probably sense. just want like the best of the best of the people who went into university and stayed like 
See, but the stuff you're applying time. for, like you, you either have to have perfect grades or you have to have some sort of experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they look at the grades first. So it's a, it's a weird spot. I think she'll be fine. She's got a bunch of sources in high places. That's good, yeah. Because she's, well, she's pretty much peaked at her job. Yeah. So now you need you need the piece of, you need the piece of paper. Yeah, you need an, another piece of paper to get another job. Correct. That's pretty much how the world works. Yeah, and then you need to buy a two hundred dollar frame for sitting yeah. this paper. Yeah, I'm gonna hey. go off for a second and just get really woke on you guys. Go but off. Right, right. Do you guys just not think like the education system is just like flawed to shit? And like the way life works. Literally, everyone thinks that it's yeah. like you wait. Like, well, you don't woke. wake up. You do not. I said wake up i'm gonna say you're born and then like you go to you go to school as soon as you can fucking walk and t- and talk and then like you have like how many years of school like grade yeah, eight univer- high five. school university so 12 years 12 anywhere from let's say 12 to, like 15 years if you want to do something else oh for you yeah okay. and then and then you finish school right mm-hmm. yay i'm free no all you got <laughs> out of school was a no, was a was wrong. a degree or uh what do you call it well what's a certificate diploma certificate diploma, something yeah. like that and then right after that you have to take all that that you just did and you're going to use probably like five percent of everything apply to a job <laughs> and grind through finding a fucking job get said job work get up work nine to five for like 40 years <laughs> and then that's your fucking life <laughs> Ride or die. Yeah. <laughs> like, sounds fuck sick. That, man. Okay, so what? <laughs> How would you want to do it? Yeah, what do you what, mean? What I don't know. Effect? I just want to not do that. <laughs> you just oh. want to not work. You want to play games all day. Yes. Is Welcome so to my to life. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We're all just living vicariously through Krishna at this point. Although, I'll take it. <laughs> like I was mentioning earlier before the podcast, um, it's not all. <laughs> fun like i've literally know, been playing like, for five hours today and i've not gotten a single good recording i know like i've been playing video games for five hours <laughs> hey, I hate my- no it, it <laughs> I know, does, I know. it's not fun after the it turns into a job after That's a while right. but like fuck man just got think like a like whoever decided on this like institutionalism of like how your life's supposed to go <laughs> is just like well it's only institutionalized to a like a i degree. know like no one's forcing you to do anything but if you don't follow these guidelines you're gonna end up either one of the million people who are like make it on their own example here or you can be homeless if okay you but you also have to remember that like all of these jobs require this education it's I'm, not like you can just get I, it without actually going know, to study i know i'm just saying but like the like that's my whole point it's like you have to do go to school in order to get a job which makes sense but like just that's the way it is i don't know like, do you guys not understand the point I'm trying to make here? This guy just wants to win the lottery. I just don't want to fucking this be... This guy just wants to I just become an engineer without yeah. going to school. I just don't want to... I don't know. Man, no, that's Life why just I, seems so, like, predetermined for you no matter what. That's why I think I some of those projects... Or not projects, but um, the, like, work weeks that people are trying to implement. Like, yeah. Microsoft, for example, where you go to the four-day work week. Yeah. I think that's such a good idea. Yeah, Because it exactly. allows you to still have, have extra time. Yeah. And then you're hella more productive when you're actually at work yeah because you have a time crunch and then you also care more because yeah exactly it's like the scary part is that those companies that are implementing that are doing in like sometimes the worst way possible oh yeah probably like all the big tech companies are like oh you have unlimited vacation time and you think you see that you're like oh this is awesome yeah but if you like even take two weeks of vacation they usually fire you and replace you because they're like oh this person's taking too much vacation even though you have unlimited i guess so but like that's like my buddy um works at a company in town and he has like um unlimited but a mandatory three week vacation. So he has to take three weeks. Just like as a paid well, it's or unlimited. It's probably unpaid vacation. So then, then. Well it's like unlimited. So you can take three weeks and then you can take more if you want and if it makes sense to take more. Like if they're like, yeah, we're releasing a product on Friday and this wasn't pre approved, like you wouldn't request vacation unless uh, you're an idiot. Yeah. But gotcha. if there's actual legit timeline or yeah. like there was like downtime in the timeline like if there's yeah. a lull and you want to go on a trip you're like hey i'm gonna go on this trip but like he he um is the one that's in australia and, oh. uh, <laughs> or BC, one of drew's which one? many <laughs> friends in australia or BC. drew's mr international he's the yeah. venn diagram australia bc one <laughs> hey and then uh in the middle is just drew <laughs> <laughs> so when he finished his first visa his girlfriend went out there and they literally just toured europe for maybe a month must be nice and he was just all of his vacation from unlimited so he got paid the whole time 
That's crazy. Would they pay you unlimited? So like, if yeah. you could take two months, they'd just pay you for the two months. <laughs> hey, Wherever paid. this place is, I gotta fucking get a job. He's like, it made sense, right? Like, he's a good worker, so they don't want to fire him. And it made sense with him what the company was doing. So he just got and paid like, his normal salary for the whole trip. So. Did he not need another visa? Yeah, but so like, but you had I to mean, get like, that anyway. He, he could, he could have come back here to work in that time frame. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes I mean, sense. That's pretty lucky. Another random thought when you said Europe. I didn't know that you can like drive across Europe and like, and I don't know if it's a day or not. I don't want to say throw that out there and have it be awful, but you can, you're like, right. Yeah, man, like, it's can, tiny. Yeah, I didn't. I, I I thought if you were going from like fucking, I don't know, like <laughs> I'm I'm so bad at geography. It's so probably gonna sound terrible. The west to east coast. Of <laughs> yeah, Europe. if you're going yeah, from yeah. like whatever's on the west coast of Europe to whatever's on the east coast, like let me guess. Is Actually, no, I was just saying England, but that's probably not even I'm, close. So, like, the farthest you can go on the West Coast would be, like, I guess England, but England's its own island, so you'd have to, like, take a ferry across. Yeah. But then you could probably make it to the other side, I'm pretty sure, in, like, less than 12 hours. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't realize it was that, into like, close. Well, I'm pretty sure all of Europe is, like, the size of, from, like, it's like where we are all the way to, yeah, PEI. <laughs> My geography's so shit. Well, it's, 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 well, it takes, like, it's crazy. I mean, like, it it's probably like, PEI uh, itself. A straight day of driving it from here to Florida. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But, but like, you, that's crazy. You can get across PEI in like, what, an hour and a half? PEI? Yeah. It, it depends if you take a, a fucking boat or if you just ride in the back of like a Seriously, seal or man. something. I went no, there when I was out east. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we drove across PEI in like an hour. Did you go to the Orange Beach or whatever it was? The yeah, red yeah, beaches, yeah. those were cool. Literally they all cool. the beaches are orange, aren't they? I think so. Probably. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> red sand for life. <laughs> hey. I remember I found, I was like unpacking my shit when we got back. And there was just like so much red sand in the suitcase. <laughs> and I was I was a kid and I was like, yeah, it's so cool. My parents were like, you're making a mess. What the hell is all this stuff? And I was like, oh, it's just the PEI sand. It won't matter. It's, it's not a Shove mess. Shove some in like the couch cushion. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Rob grabbed like a jar of it just sprinkling around yeah. the living room. <laughs> That's how you just spread PEI. Seasoning his food with red yeah. sand. <laughs> Those are grandpa's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Seasoning the food with it. That reminds me of that one movie. Have you seen that one movie where they... He's trying to turn his grandpa's ashes around. <laughs> yeah. just like mixing in a little bit <laughs> mixing some ketchup i'm playing kitchen <laughs> i've always i never understood oh that. like do you guys have like cremated remains in your no. houses no yes you do yeah okay. really like, like in this house no not in my apartment <laughs> oh my god his, bird, his birds here that explains all those up. noises your I dead hear. bird <laughs> You have a bird? Wait, is it actually your bird? Oh, no. So the so <laughs> no. the birds we actually buried in the front yard, and then yeah. I think when we buried them, I'm pretty sure we dug up another pet that we had buried. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's just alive. It's like a zombie bunny or something. That'd be pretty fucked. But why? Like ashes? Yeah, I was just gonna say. Like I guess zombie. I, cat? I wouldn't keep it in my house just because I just think it's like, like an urn or something. Yeah. So you're I just, just inviting think, ghosts. Yeah, it's just like I've seen too many horror movies. <laughs> You're inviting ghosts. The only, yeah. the only slightly strange thing I see about that is, I don't know, if say you were dead and you got cremated, would you want to be on like a fireplace? No, no I, I want, if I get cremated, Annie's obligated to take my ashes to the Playboy Mansion I just, and <laughs> sprinkle it in the hot tub. <laughs> I think Con, I don't, it's not even the, the craziest thing that hot tub sees. Convince, yeah. convince all the Playboy bunnies it's a certain substance. Oh, no, maybe. No. Oh, Christian's ashes. That'd be fucked. I don't know. Getting, I want a nice like ancient Nordic burial. You know, like when I die, I want my <laughs> you, family just to build like a pyre out of you sticks. You the coins just, on the eyes. And just burn me alive, <laughs> or not know. alive. Fuck, burn me. I <laughs> <laughs> just burn me. Like Rob's like seventy. They're starting to tie him down. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not, it's not my yet. time yet. They put, it's like shut up. We want the inheritance. <laughs> they literally put what is inheritance? What inheritance? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rob's body's in like the Game of Thrones where they put you in the boat yeah. and then they push you. They just, and you just roll you out. Boom. Light it up oh, with an arrow. And then someone's going to miss the arrow three times and then. <laughs> and then you're just going to disappear. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that scene. That's funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I better. I I like the idea of getting cremated more than being buried. I just, don't care. When just, I'm dead, just. I, just like, I don't know. I don't want to have saying? like. I don't know. I'd it, rather be cremated, but then just like discard my ashes yes because like but do something with them because the burying yourself <laughs> yeah. burying yourself in, compost, in my yeah. opinion is like pretty selfish because it takes up so much land and you like oh good guy cares. yeah but i, I understand some He's people turning vegan next week yeah <laughs> i understand some people are like they care more about the graveyard and stuff like that i, know, I just like going into a graveyard would just depress the hell out of me so i'd rather just oh get, it's really depressing i just rather get cremated and then uh 
hopeful for the best that way. This is a really morbid, dark conversation. <laughs> yeah, we're having. How do we even arrive here? You I, was yeah. it me? Yeah. yeah. All I know is when you die, I'll show up and I'll, I'll just skull clap. Oh. I'll get that. I'll get <laughs> that. <laughs> no, everyone has to walk up, get a bit of ash, and do a skull clap. But I'll get that. Your parents will just give me the nastiest look. Yeah. <laughs> I could just imagine Shane doing that, and then all you hear from the coffin is just the skull clap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so alive. He busts through yeah. the coffin. <laughs> Bury me in my farb jersey. I was like uh, my old dog. We cremated him. <laughs> With the paws up. He hasn't moved paws in a week. Up. He's about to die. Just one last skull clap. clap. One last skull clap. <laughs> On the um, eve of Monday Night Football, too. We, we like cremated him and then took him to like his favorite place. I think that would be a sick way. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's like when I die, cremate me, sprinkle me on the the shore of the cottage. Yeah, this is the cottage. Sprinkle or- me in the dinner trays of the Tucker's restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell anyone. <laughs> and Incorpor- like, at the end of the night, be like, congratulations, you just ate a bit of this guy. <laughs> yeah. Incorporate me into the all-you-can-eat pizza crust. Yeah, yeah, literally. Fuck, but. All right. Well, anyways, off topic of dying and getting buried or cremated. Hey. Shane has an idea. Shane has a question yeah. for me. Yeah, I kind of forget it. Oh, Yo, really? Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Uh, how Rob can fix so many things. Oh, but... Okay. So, so for a, for a man who who I think like how many how often do you go to the gym a week? Couple. Six days. I'm missing today. Credit to me because I'm just super tired. But okay. You know, but like yeah. religiously, how often have you gone in the month? Like pretty much six days a week, right? Seven days. Yeah. So how 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 many meals a day do you eat? Uh, well, let me think. <laughs> well, like just give it like three or four, right? First dinner, second four dinner. Or five. <laughs> recently, <laughs> recently, I haven't been eating as much. I've actually lost a bit of weight. Ooh, just a combination of you know stress, not eating enough because of my weird ass schedule, not being and able to pa- buy food, and my parents only buying weird fucking shit, and I'm too, <laughs> but I'm too poor to buy my own food. To buy but, anything else, yeah. But regardless, like you, you yeah. eat very healthy. I try to, yeah. But so like why at 3 a.m. It's like it's like it's like 5 a.m. when I'm in Dominican. OK, yeah, I get like a, a spurt of Wi-Fi and I'm like completely wasted. <laughs> I look and it's Rob being like, still haven't fixed my sleep schedule. <laughs> How can you do all these good things and you can't fix your sleep I don't schedule? Know, man. Can, I, can I throw in what I think your answer is going to be? Sure. You're going to say the same thing as the vaping where it's just like, you know, they're separate and no, 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 like you go to the gym, you're healthy. To, yeah, but fuck. But then, know. like the most, like the most important thing to health was it the cat video that I, that you saw? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a cat getting a haircut. <laughs> um, a cat? You, you po- yeah. He posts that like three forty or something, <laughs> yeah. and like I'm sitting and like like laying in bed like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah. We'll save this for another day. Yeah. I don't know. So like, well, there's two contributing factors here. One is like, I'd say like my good friends who i still play xbox with none of them come on until like midnight anyways i don't know what they're doing but like <laughs> i'd rather be gaming from like the normal time i'm on all day yeah but like yeah I you're said, not a good friend you're just a no, friend it, oh, yeah shit. i said my good xbox friends okay oh. there's two different partitions here oh. but he has an xbox do you no, no. we're <laughs> just the good in general friends <laughs> let's go uh, we're the good anyway. pc friends yeah, yeah. Wow. nintendo switch has its own little click you know <laughs> uh but yeah like so like they won't always were trying to game stuff super late saturday i was up till five playing in the nhl 20 playoffs which we won for credit to our team <laughs> yeah. we won five credit games in a row does that mean something I got I got personal NHL satisfaction out of it, man. That's okay. what I got out of at it. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. <laughs> and I had to get up at Where 10 a.m. Where no one else is but playing. But like, that's literally the perfect example. <laughs> literally. It was like four of us just ripping on the until like 5 a.m. And that was Saturday? So Saturday, then, Did you yeah. go to the gym Sunday? Yes. So no wonder you are like you couldn't go to the gym today. Yeah. Well, today, I wouldn't have had time to go today anyways because I finished work. Oh, finished work. What? Bank account update. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hundred twenty-seven dollars, some, some, some. I forget the change. Hundred twenty-seven bones. I got my first paycheck from the place I work at, but it was only for my first training shift, so it was like forty bucks. Hey, forty bucks, forty bucks, forty hey, bucks. That's, 40 bucks, so 40 right. bucks. that's like way powder. What it did, is, but I can't afford it yet. What did you spend it on? Nothing. What? Whoa! Yeah. Oh my, that's still growing. sitting in there. Um, so sitting there. Wait, where he's were, gonna give it to you to grow a portfolio. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. Hundred twenty <laughs> bucks. I was just oh, so I, yeah. So, anyways, I worked until. Uh, six thirty something like that. I forget already. And then I just came straight here. And then after this is the Vikings game, so mm-hmm. I can't. Uh, you know. You know, there's fifty fucking TVs at the gym. Yeah, I could do that, but still, that's true. You I have to a pretty I, nice gym. I haven't. TV I haven't taken a day off the gym in a while, anyway. So maybe it'll kind of help. 
my oh, wrist, that's actually very fair. My wrists are super sore. I find I, I don't know, hurts to stand. <laughs> it hurts to live. I'm falling apart. <laughs> Every moment of my life is agony. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's just like, I'm the most relaxed, like super late at night. I don't know how to explain it. So just, if you're super relaxed, wouldn't you just sleep? No, like, I'm like, <laughs> no, I know what you mean. It's like after like 1 a.m., like 1231, it's just kind of like my brain turns off, you know? You do your best relaxing late at night. Yes, exactly. And it's like, I'm not stressed about anything. I'm just chilling. There's something weird, like after like midnight or 1 a.m. hits, and all of a sudden you get like that burst of energy. And you're yeah. just like, I can just it's like, do it's anything. It's just I positive. But I don't know. I just feel super like positive. Once it hits relaxed. that time of night, I just lose all concept of time. Yeah, yeah literally. Too, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of just black out at like after one o'clock ish every day no matter what i'm doing the difference is that we have managed to force ourselves to go to bed before midnight whereas <laughs> rob always yeah, reaches yeah, yeah. that <laughs> well i'm like i i've been trying to get to bed earlier it didn't really work like uh the last one night last week i fell asleep at like 12 45 <laughs> which is pretty wild for me at least yeah and then uh but then, yeah, it's been like three or four every. It's because I just don't have anything to get up for, right? So I just don't see the point of going to bed There's early. Nothing to live for. But nothing to live for. Get up, make breakfast, go to the gym. What are you about to do? I, so I want to throw in any uh, message saying I'm not putting your ashes in the Playboy Mansion. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we we got you. We got you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, what the boys are for, man. You know, we'll do a B and E to get the ashes from the apartment. <laughs> we'll vlog it for you. Yeah. All right, Drew, you clear my browser history. Right. Shane, All you right. grab the ashes. <laughs> Rob just cries so I'll just cry, yeah. <laughs> like I just can't even I I'd be like I can't see the point of going on anymore. Christian Rob. was the only thing I had going for me. <laughs> he was my job. Yeah, literally. By the way, you're single now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like Christian was gonna pay School me twenty K a year. School then, finish off the school. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he ends the conversation as I'm running out with the ashes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be quite a crew running away. Yeah. I'm just hold that someone's holding an urn. We're just That'd like, be quite the road trip. Yeah, that would be. Waiting for the Where elevator? is the Playboy Mansion? I'm pretty sure it's like in Vegas or something. Isn't it isn't California. It? It's well, fact check time. Fact check. Um, hold on, where's I'm voting? Uh, I'm voting. I, I think it's California. Vegas. I think where's, it's, yeah. where's GTA Five? It's like in Los Santos. Los Santos. Yeah, but like San where's, Andreas. Where's it? Where's it modeled after? Mexico. I don't know actually. Mexico. <laughs> I like how. As you said, GTA, I was Googling it and like the suggestion was Playboy Mansion GTA. Yeah, it's because it's in GTA. Really? Which yeah. one? GTA 5? Yeah. Dude, I got to play that game again, man. I don't know. Somewhere. I, I just know what it is. Hmm. Dude, well, I, I played GTA 5. But I did like 30% of it. I beat the main story and like did a little bit of side stuff. It's like pretty much it's by the golf course, Christian, if you can picture that. Oh, it's really? got like a big pool in the back and it's got the cave you can go into. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. seeing Could that. Because we, we, the only reason I know that is because we used to like jump the bikes and that's the yard you'd always land into. Uh, True. Well, anyone putting in their final guesses? Well, my final guess is wherever the fuck GTA 5 was. <laughs> Los Santos. After. Los like Angeles. in real life? Yeah. Yeah. Either California or Nevada. Los Angeles. California. It's Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. I, win. I, said, I, said, first. I said California first. I said California. <laughs> that's credit to me. Hey, this guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I got. I might download GTA Five again. Oh no! no. It would definitely no, no. You wait, Rob. Red uh, Dead Redemption. Master Chief Collection's coming out on PC oh, yeah. tomorrow. When? Oh, Why tom oh, tomorrow? When? Halo Reach. And do you all know what? It's it only Halo Reach so far. They're doing like I think February is Halo Drew One. Out. Why well, can't they come yeah, out just, after my exam? Just wait. You don't know. You'll I'll gift fine. it to you after. I, I'm my gonna man. Be, but the new season comes out tomorrow, so I'm not even gonna be playing it at the, all this week. My man. My man. But like, I don't know, I should have, obviously giving away the Game Pass thing was like, you know, a nice humble gesture by me, but fuck. He, <laughs> he regrets it now. <laughs> he, he hey, that guy who and I, and I really want to play uh, Tomb Raider. I was watching some videos of it the other day. Oh, the new one? The new Interesting. one. Interesting. It looks really good. I didn't even know there was a new one. Me either, honestly. Larry Croft? Sure. I, I played Lara. the old one. Lara. Larry, Larry Croft. Larry Croft. Man, uh, the the newest Tomb Raider movie was the first back to back movie I've seen. Back like, to back, movie? like I literally saw a movie before it, and then I turned to me like, "You want to go see Tomb Raider right now?" She's like, <laughs> "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Like right now, we'll just go buy Tomb Raider." And we went and saw it. It was the first back to back movie. That's, That's sick. I've, I've never done that. that. It was fun. We've, We've done it, but like like snuck into the second. Oh, I wow. paid for it. Yeah, I did yeah. that. I did that to go see uh, one of the Jackass movies a long time ago. We bought tickets for like fucking shrek or something and just walked into jackass that's what we did too really? I, it might have been actually something like because we were like like 15 at the yeah. time so we're like well we can't get it we can get in shrek or that's an ex that's a perfect example we yeah. did something very similar yeah shrek to jackass almost the same movie 
Just one's not animated. <laughs> Similar, yeah. One's green, one's not. Yeah, uh. it doesn't have ogres in it. Shrek was on TV yesterday. That's probably why I said it so fast. I watched like 45 minutes of it. Rip. <laughs> At 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got the big dub and chell and then just goes and watches Shrek to the celebrate. Night of my life, man. Best yeah. night of my life. That's Yikes. a good night. That's a good night. Um, fuck, I was just going to say something, but I forgot. I'm going to forget. Yeah, I'm going to forget. Robbie, Everyone just sit silently until, until Rob remembers. Something, something about Rob, Shrek. you want to sell me a new phone? I could do that. My man. Although I don't, I don't know how to yet. Oh, yeah, we well, still, literally wait for him because you, you'll you get commissioned for it. Like a yeah, decent amount Although too. theoretically, I'm not supposed to do that. I have oh, to do it through yeah, the but business you don't, line you don't anyway. know us. Oh, right. Yo, what are we even doing? And what's honestly, what's like, this mic in my face? The amount of, <laughs> spell my last name. Uh, no, don't, don't do it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of stuff I've, we've gotten from Niall in the past. I guess not at Rogers, but in other situations. I miss yeah. him at Best Buy. Yeah. Those were good times. Yeah, he hooked me up only once there. I remember, um, so Connor... Mm -hmm. how he's like his stepsister's dating Niall he said one time when we were like all hanging out he's just like you know Niall's the best thing that's ever happened to this family because they just have like their whole living room theater was new yeah. like downstairs is all new like all this new or if technology you, if when you go to Niall's place it's just like there's just oh. just luxurious technology everywhere an 80 inch TV in the basement literally. yeah Whoa. Amanda literally like went to Best Buy and talked to a bunch of people about like getting a Fitbit and like none of them the guy's like oh let me just quick google it She's like, I could have done that. Text <laughs> Niall and Niall just like sends her a novel of like what what she needs to do, what she needs to get, recommendations. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, we've it's, got our hookup. It's We're night good. and day. And it, even at like he's doing, my, like, my manager even said like Niall will like do most of your training. And I was hey, like, blast, just get to hang out with Niall for most so of the dangerous. time. That's so dangerous. Well, like, yeah, like. I was just like at Zares when <laughs> all of you guys got hired. Oh, actually, you weren't yeah, with that I, I was the first one at Zares right after, wait, no. No, I it was Shane, yeah. then yeah, me, Shane then you. I was wait. the first one at Zares right after you two. <laughs> <laughs> wait, fuck. I don't remember. Well, I guess I didn't. It's because we got hired in three different departments. Yeah, we didn't. I guess we wouldn't have any reason to know who we, who we, who we were yet. I'm no, pretty sure was. I got hired like three months after Shane. It was, yeah, well, I think it was six because, uh, again, they changed all the laws and you got jumped. Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, like, I was 15, so there's no way you were working there when I Dude, was. Dude, I was 12. What do you mean? <laughs> I was just ripping the... I was in the butcher's with a knife, bro. Just <laughs> dicing up fucking pork tenderloin. Why is there a bite out of the shoulder? <laughs> Don't worry about <laughs> it. Just eating raw meat. <laughs> oh, it explains a lot back then. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get a lot of gains. Everything makes so much sense now. Yeah, fuck. What was the... Oh, I meant to... I, I'm not sure if you talk about this, but what was the longest break you guys have ever taken at Zara's? And a, a longest 15-minute break. <laughs> oh, um, Easy. 15 minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was like an hour and a half. Mine was like, or maybe two. Mine was two. No, oh, mine was about. Two it was two and a half because we went and caught a movie. Yours was <laughs> went and watched a movie. Yeah, because we, yeah, because we were Man. we were outside working. Yeah. When Shane was in uh, garden center <laughs> and I was doing buggies, I would literally go outside and I'd see him just get into a car and try. I'm like, where, where are you going? going? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll be back. Just going for lunch. It was like him and three other people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's at garden center? Like, <laughs> ah, no one's coming. There'd be no four one. of us working, and we just put like the one person we didn't like <laughs> and then we'd schedule them as a fifth and they're like okay we're all going for lunch yeah. leave for two hours so, come back. so oh we have a team meeting so what about me guys yeah no yeah, you're not part, part of the team, team. <laughs> did the guy the guy who started whose name starts with a b yeah. he worked in garden center you know what i'm talking about you can so. say first names it's not ben. Yeah. yeah there you go <laughs> oh i've I really didn't like that guy. I love really? him. Really? Yeah. I, I, I think I, I like him more retrospectively. I think he was an... He, He's a, he was a he, dick, bro. He came off as a dick, but I think it was just... He was very sarcastic. I, I don't think him, he was actually a dick. I saw him at randomly at Oktoberfest. Yeah. Oh, really? he's, he's awesome. Is he yeah. homeless? No, no, no. He looks no. the exact same. What a surprise. Wait, it's a surprise that he's not homeless? <laughs> yeah. Next, like, <laughs> out, next <laughs> event we do, I'm going to invite him. Do it. Do it. <laughs> And then I'll just be like, hey, dude. Hey, remember me? I'll be like, remember that one time you made fun of me? Yeah. What about now, boy? No, <laughs> remember that one time you it's poked my belly like... and said, hey, chubby? No, he chirped my fucking Laurier jacket once. <laughs> I never, never forgot it. Oh. I show up and he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, what school do you go to, man? I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> tell. <laughs> That's the best, though. Yeah. <laughs> but still, man. Rob just cried. There were so many other fucking little like, side comments and oh, shit he yeah. made. Fuck that guy, man. That, but I it's, think it's, it's probably because I was such good friends with his girlfriend at the time. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't yeah. think I know what you mean. Unwink, unwink. <laughs> All right. Let me just clarify my winks. <laughs> you know? His, oh, true, true. Yeah, there you go. The only reason I don't like him, and I don't even think he probably remembers anymore. He's listening, like, man. Be careful. Was that time when he just like completely shit on me because I said that the job he was... uh well, a pyramid was, scheme. Yeah, it was a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I was like, are you sure this isn't a pyramid scheme? And he's just like, fuck you, man. Like, blah, 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 blah. Let's text me after. And he's just like, um, not all of us are going to be able to pretend to play video games. He's like, your channel's probably going to fall out in two years. <laughs> well, I was it's like, like, wow, geez. What was he doing? Like glass cleaning or something? No, it was, I think it was well, like that glass work was actually legit. Well, yeah, because I was going to say, that, that, how would that be a pyramid? No, no. A pyramid? The, <laughs> the one that was the... <laughs> I'll sell you one squeegee, then you sell five squeegees. Okay. <laughs> The one that was the pyramid scheme was like he had to go door to door selling like some type of internet service or thing something, but he didn't get paid for it. It was hundred percent commission, and then he also had to recruit people. So I was like, I'm pretty sure <laughs> uh, this is a pyramid scheme, scheme. Yeah. legitimately a pyramid. And scheme. then he's just like, no, like the company's legit, like it's backed by Bell or whatever. I was like, that doesn't mean it's not it a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> just means someone printed out a fucking Bell logo just and put it on your documents. It means signed. Bell's getting some sweet profit. Yeah. They're getting some money out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, probably like Bell's like discount fucking internet. That's the only like sp- I guess squabble we had was him just shitting on me and being like, every time I saw that guy, dude, it was always some sort of side comment, and I was always just like, you know, man, I wish I was like five inches taller. Well, I guess I already was taller than the guy. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't even tall enough to work in Santa's workshop, but you know. wow, <laughs> wow, tell us how you really Whoa, feel. Rob's getting ruthless over here. I am. We're gonna start <laughs> just shitting on people from the Zares days. Do it. Who's hey. next? Who you guys next? remember? Do nothing, Donovan. <laughs> Yeah, that guy was a legend, though. Oh, <laughs> what a, I just remembered that guy. I don't remember him. He was trailer the most, trash. Most trailer trash guy ever. He's just like nuts. absolutely useless. The most idiotic man you'll ever meet. Realistically, well, not, this might have actually been before sorry, Drew's time. This isn't Donald? <laughs> no. No. Okay. This guy was like deadbeat, dude. Like yeah, he just yeah, looked yeah, like really. he was going to try and sell you his used like, dirt bike helmet <laughs> or something like that. And do you want to know who else I saw who goes to my gym now? Jeremy. No, it's a girl. You guys remember? I can say first names. Yeah. <laughs> remember it's Medina? No. Blonde. Yeah. Like, like. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She is dating Shrek in human form. They can actually no Shrek in human form was like a man rocket. What am I saying? Like Shrek. Yeah, like, yeah. Shrek is an ogre, but like so, not an ogre. So the Hulk. Like, but not no, green. But no, the Hulk is still pretty, pretty D's, man. Yeah. Wait, like, is this supposed to be a compliment to the guy or? Uh, no. Like, okay. Yeah, can't, wait, I, guess it, I guess it didn't really get Shrek fun. in green form. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shrek, but like <laughs> not green. That's what he looks like. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I like how he didn't specify that he was being very inclusive there. Yeah. See? I'm a nice guy. Gotcha. I'm for the people at all, at all times. After all those comments from Ben, he's just like, <laughs> fuck that, man. <laughs> can't make fun of anyone. <laughs> Dude, he put me down too many times. Dude, he hurt my feelings. <laughs> there was times when I would... Uh, How did you survive with us? Wait a second. Yeah, Rob, know. literally the other day on stream, he was co- talking about how like life isn't worth living anymore because he didn't get that <laughs> job. And I was like, Rob, shut the fuck up. You're being so <laughs> melodramatic. And he's like... Okay. I don't know, but there's like... When it's like someone like you're kind of fringe friends with, you know what I mean? See, that's guess, fair. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't want to take the shit. Yeah. And it's I'm just funny because like, some people I can take it and then some other people I'm just like, literally, Who are man. You? Exactly. Why it's are like you talking when I'm in, yeah. the, when I, like, for example, here, I have a giant, giant tolerance for just, you know what I mean? That kind yeah. of shit. And like, if I'm like, I don't know, say oh, I'm like, really? having a bad day and like so, some person no, I'm like, right. sort of friends with says some, even the smallest thing, I just freak out on them. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, it's kind of fair. You remind me of like when I play Siege and I'm just playing a game. Like if I do shit, I always just type be like easy. I carried out all my team. Like I'm, I went zero and five, and yeah. then the enemy team's just like, "Who are you?" I'm like, "Oh shit!" Oh. <laughs> I upset somebody. At the end of the smite game today, I was like, I was like one in four leaving lane as chalk, and literally like my team is just roasting me. <laughs> and uh, again, we come back. We sweep them three times. We come back and win. And at the end, you, you know the command, just you're welcome. Yeah. And then every single person except Ben on the team just LOL. So I'm like, oh, guys. Get, get fucked. But VBGW. they knew immediately yeah. at least that like, no, this guy's just shit. <laughs> Gotta love text chat in games, yeah. man. But immediately LOL. Oh, come I, on, guys. I really wish that Smite had an all chat. Yeah, it they doesn't took have that, that shit away. No. Yeah. You bullshit. can whisper people. And I, I started pissing people off because... Um, whenever people do stupid, like really stupid things, like diving for me and just dying for it, yeah. I'll whisper, whisper at them, them saying "lull" yeah. and like all lowercase, and it no. makes them so <laughs> upset. Christian's they get so literally the biggest scumbag ever. He'll <laughs> he'll sit in solo and he has no problem sitting there for twenty five minutes, where he's killed this guy three times. 
Then he'll just sit at the edge of this dude's tower and watch him, <laughs> and he just XP stars him. The minions kill each other in behind him, yeah, so and he like, just sits there literally 20 minutes in the game. Like, Christian, how's your lane go? He's like, I'm just sitting dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll literally just sit there and watch them, and then they'll message me be like, why the fuck do you do this? Like, this isn't fun. I'm like, what's that it's fun in, for me. <laughs> what's that in COD terms? Like, so it'd be basically like uh, spawn camping. Oh, okay. So like yeah, basically... But worse. So in Smite, how it works is like there's towers, right? And mm-hmm. you have to die... Or, break the towers and then you have the minions you've played the League minions of legends right are, but okay like, well, so, like there's, so there's little bots, minions like yeah little npcs minions, that yeah. just like they run each other they hit each other and they die but okay. like, you, you to level to get you need to kill them to get xp okay so then basically what i do is i just let all the minions walk past me and they fight my minions and i push the person out where they're too far away where they won't get the xp when the minion but dies still it. but i'm still close uh, enough where i get it so i just sit there and i watch them and they can't do anything but i'm leveling up they're they walk, staying the same level and if they, they walk in a tower he just kills them yeah christian levels like move. at like three quarters of the rate but he's still leveling like he'll come at a lane six levels on the guy's facing <laughs> like it's not efficient it's just no not at all like he'll come it's pro- not efficient it's just like snake yeah yeah, oh, yeah. like yeah. you come out of the lane actually worse off than other lanes but the, at the end of the day like your lane partner's garbage <laughs> yeah. so and like there's nothing more demoralizing than sitting there like you can't leave tower getting yeah. xp start just watch just some guy just watching you and just waiting for you to leave <laughs> well, your spot and, and the, then he's doing like emotes and shit <laughs> and the and person i play <laughs> is like so tanky that even if they have someone to try to come help i just like put on one ability and i walk away oh, <laughs> and they gosh. can't kill me and then your team flames you they're like why are you just sitting under tower like do something you're so under level and you're just like i literally can't do anything <laughs> like, i don't know what you want from me just traps the guy on the other team this team is probably so mad at them too. it's demoralizing it really is it like is, it makes yeah. you depressed mm-hmm. more so than the job uh, i don't oh. know about that man uh, even worse like i told you my legs and arms fit away a thousand pounds bro man you got gym, an income fine. though i know fuck man i just gotta keep plowing through you know Hey, one of these days. The job offer still open. 20k a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than zero. I guess. You're probably making more than that now. Yeah. Well, well, I could probably, yeah, but this would I also could be work one shift a week at Rogers. This would probably be like I'd get you to play like two days a week <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> True. True that. True that. I think someone said it earlier anyways, but whatever. But okay. Yeah. You also Fine. have mentioned your school, your city, and everything. So I, it's all out there. One of these point. days, I'm just going to walk out of my house, and I'm just going to make a clone of me sitting <laughs> in my car. <laughs> just like being like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Someone with a Rob mask on. Like, yeah. I, w- I wonder what would you do if like someone cloned you, but the clone was like determined that it was you also? Dude, that's a movie Man. that just came yeah. out, I think. What's it called? Gemini with Will Smith. Honestly, like if it was like if it was Christian, you got two clones, you had to pick one. Should you just... You know which one's real. You just kill them. You're like, ah, we'll, tr- we'll try with this one. It's not <laughs> working with the other. <laughs> we'll, we'll try with this clone. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> the creepiest thing ever was uh, my buddy got a new job. He got cloned. He got, no, yeah, that's you. <laughs> no, and he got a work phone. So he texted me randomly from his work phone. And it was a Toronto number. So I was like, I don't know this number. I don't know anyone that lives in Toronto. Yeah. And he started sending me my location. Ooh. And just messing with my head, <laughs> saying how he was like outside and all this stuff. And I thought it was one of Christian's fans that somehow. <laughs> and, and, but he didn't know this either. He was just trying to play like a random practical joke. And I was freaking, freaking out. Freaking the fuck out. Because he doesn't ha- know about like the possibility that that actually could happen. Because it could happen. Yeah. And then, and then so I'm like, fucked. I don't We're know. Like, do I, do, I, do I call the cops? Like, what do I do here? And then uh, stupid me. This is where, this I, is where I become cops? dumb. Because he was texting me also from his personal phone. Like. Man, is some random number texting you with like your address and oh, stuff? Oh, he was just trolling you. So then I thought it was like someone from school when we were kids that just hated us. Oh Drew, man! But like it's it's classic you, literally so oh, fixated was... on one thing that nothing around you would matter. Hundred percent. I was freaking out. <laughs> That's the ADD kicking in. Yeah. That's just classic. And then he Drew. let me know. I'm like, oh, you asshole. You're a prick. <laughs> I hate getting pranked like that. It's the worst shit ever. I can't wait to start the prank channel on Rob. Hey. Fuck yeah. you guys, bro. Starting tonight. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. The prank is actually in the head and just it's a prank, man. So the prank that we actually are filming right now that you didn't realize you're part of is there's no podcast. We haven't been recording anything. We're not even live. Our podcast Never. is tomorrow. Oh, really? oh, I'm going to watch Vikings YouTube. game, then I'll see you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you have <laughs> literally <laughs> watched it. Oh, but I have to be here for the prank yeah. until the, yeah, the yeah, fake yeah. podcast yeah. ends. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I'll stick around. See, <laughs> you can't watch the Vikings game. <laughs> True. But that would be a sick prank, man. You guys got really into it, you know, gave up a good portion of it 15 you're, weeks in yeah, your monday evening gonna fail my exam just for the prank <laughs> yeah. that's all done you guys are like, got pranked i'm like <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> there'll be a few jokes have you guys ever pulled any like masterful pranks on someone 
Wow. I told. <laughs> so this is the most recent one that I've done, and I don't know how I kept it up. I kept it up for a day. I should have kept it up longer, but I told Annie that I didn't know what green beans were. <laughs> she oh, I've seen that. That's fucked. It was just the most stupid, basic thing. But she's just <laughs> it's like, the can you? Dumbest prank. She was just heard. like, it's but not a prank. You're just trolling her. I know, but she was just like, can you get green beans when you go to the store? I'm like, what are those? <laughs> and then she's like, green beans. I'm like, oh, so like I have to go to like the ethnic store to get them. I'm assuming. She's like, no, like green beans. You can find them anywhere. And I went to like the close by stores, like they don't have them anywhere. Like, where would I find them? She's like, there should be in the bean they're section. I'm like, beans. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in the ethnic section and all this stuff. <laughs> and then when I brought them home, I was just like, I've never seen this before. Like, what is, what this, is this? What is this alien? <laughs> Even though food? we've gone yeah. to steakhouses where they give me green beans and I eat them, that's such a classic accompaniment. But then she's just like, she could not believe that I had no idea what green beans that's were. Amazing. That's absurd. We did the classic uh, dye everything green on St. Patty's Day like three years ago. You know, you put what? green food coloring and everything. You okay. Guys, you guys never done that before? No. Sure. Yeah. Green milk. Yeah. It was well, green orange juice. So green rob. Green rob. Green meat. Uh, green shits. Green shits. Man, Mainly because I was eating so much fucking asparagus around that time of year too. Yeah. Don't don't drink blue Gatorade. Why? Blue poop. Dude, you know Pepto Bismol turns your shit like black. Yeah. I tripped out the other day, dude. I thought I had like a fucking. A, bowel disease or something yeah uh, did jet black literally man i just got sh- shitting out coal i was like <laughs> fuck this dude shitting out if his you own keep birthday. that pressure it'll Christmas turn into a diamond yeah i guess i just gotta shit harder and i can shit diamonds <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit the gym a little more <laughs> chug a pepto and just clench and just clench oh it's like local canadian man makes groundbreaking discovery <laughs> in the diamond formation wait so what was the story about saint patrick's day that's just it dye everything just green. Everything he wants to let prank? everyone know that yeah. he dyed stuff green how's that a prank yeah well you come upstairs and you put your cereal. oh fuck my milk screen man but who who were you pranking like Himself. literally just my mom <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me and my dad were running on it oh, okay. Rob, Rob spends his her... last five dollars on green food coloring <laughs> yeah so worth it <laughs> most utility okay I, at first i thought it was just like you all your friends from like your student housing did it oh but, like no, everyone no. was in on it so it was just like i was oh. at home at the time i wasn't even that cool uh-uh. uh what another one was it oh this one was actually kind of like weird because like the real thing happened a little bit later like my my roommates knew that I like hate it. I, well, I love my car, but I hate when anything happens to it. So they would always joke about like, being it's like, normal. they'd be like, oh, well, well. they'd always make jokes. But and like one time they re- they were like, uh, oh God, man, your car just got hit by a car on the side of the road. Like run out, like quick, go outside and look at it. I'm like and literally running outside shirtless and flip flops being like checking my car. It's fine. Nothing happened. They were all like, ha oh, ha ha, you're so mad. And like, yeah, no shit. That sounds just like yeah. you. I know where you get it from. And now. then the next week, uh, do you guys remember when the that motorcycle, motorcycle, yeah. a motorcycle hit my car and like fucked with it? And of course, my one roommate comes to tell me at like five in the morning. She's she's like, blah, 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 blah. Like, hey, like, you're not going to believe me, but there's a cop outside and like your car got hit by a motorcycle. And I'm like, ha ha, nice fucking try. Like, why'd you have to get up at 5 a.m.? Yeah. And she's like, I wouldn't get up at 5 a.m. for no reason. Like, go go to the front door. And of course, that's what, ha- what's what happened. He and walks out jokes. with the cops. Are. He's like, oh, good one, yeah, guys. Good guys. <laughs> like, Where's the camera, guys? <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> and my and cops my, are like, no, this is serious. You pull out their gun. Oh, I'm sure this is <laughs> it's serious. It's a fake gun. I'm going to shoot Look at the orange tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. SWAT team comes yeah. out. Oh, wow. We're really elaborate, guys. <laughs> I'm getting handcuffed. Now. Okay, guys. Feel free to call out. Spare no expense. <laughs> I'm in jail for like 10 years I don't know this is a fucking good prank can you guys just get me out of it now Rob's in jail for 10 years I got set up <laughs> everyone in jail is like what are you here for I'm like oh I got pranks yeah. are you part of the part of are the you guys all around this too <laughs> they're like yeah man I got pranked too <coughs> they shiv you so yeah so yeah, I'm dead. He gets cremated <laughs> and sprinkled yeah. around. <laughs> still a prank. <laughs> His last, word, last words on my gravestone. Is this a prank still? <laughs> I'd be pretty fucked. You go to heaven. Just like, oh, oh, you guys well, went really all out. Man, you guys went all out. <laughs> Crazy effects Why, got there's going There's so on much here. death in today's podcast. Yeah, we're, this is pretty great, morbid, man. Because we're already planning for Rob next week. True. Why? What's next week? I don't know. I'm assuming you'll be sad enough. Oh, to, ke- like, to be dead? <laughs> yeah. Ah, you, never know. You, you, said, eh. you literally said two days ago, life's not worth living anymore. Yeah, but that th- doesn't mean I'm not going to live it, man. Okay. That's what we like to hear. Right? Gotta keep tr- There's power on. It's almost don't Christmas. Keep don't worry. No matter what, if you're ever in a desperate enough state, I can hire you. Oh, great. That's awesome. <laughs> can I move in too? No. 10K no. a year. <laughs> I wouldn't trust you. What to do what? I'll, I'll literally be a, like a pet, man. 
I'll, I'll, Wait, even, I'll even crawl around if you want me to. You can literally put the Roomba cones up and be like, Rob, don't cross this line. <laughs> yeah. Just now, stand it, there for hours. Stay. You've intrigued me more. Yeah, fuck. Rob, show us your bark. <laughs> My bark? <clears throat> okay, I, I can't perform under pressure. I'll do it, I'll just, I'll do it randomly later <laughs> Throw on. Throwback to overcooked. If you can't perform under pressure, yeah. this is not going to be good for the job. What's over, What happened on overcooked? Bark! Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> was I, that a dog yeah. yeah yeah i'm pretty sure like rob went from a split second of not understanding to his eyes wide open of just like flashbacks <laughs> this, is my line. this is my line I, I just remember fucking playing that game actually yeah that was, was like great a game. script there was reading the one dog every like cut scene was yeah like, bark that was bark. your only <laughs> yeah. bark oh okay whenever the, this the thing came up i would scream it yeah for anyone now. who doesn't know we were playing overcooked and um anytime we had we were like narrating it and anytime a dog <laughs> would come on the line was literally bork and that was rob's job to just, just yell scream bork it really we still loudly. have that on the channel it's yeah hey everyone go watch it there's like three people that watched it everyone go so. watch it and comment uh rob is sexy and that's all and i'll let you yeah like all comment right. subscribe yeah there you go see i expect my, my which, usual which cut crime? Yeah, <laughs> you're promoting it on the lesser channel to yep. that major one. Still, still incites a cut, don't you think? Do you think there's anyone out there who's listening to this podcast right now that had no idea about the main channel but just found the podcast? No. I actually was thinking about that the other day. Because like, there's seven thousand subs, that's not too much, but like that's enough where people can start like, finding it. Right? I, I stumble across random so. shit, but like, there's so many podcasts out there these yeah. days. So like. I don't know. I feel like it'd be really hard. There's so many you know, podcasts. That there's memes about po- be- be making a podcast. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna hedge us. our bets. I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah. there's one person. One. Yeah. Comment down below. Yeah. Let's yeah. find out. It's oh, well, be how are we gonna me commenting like, "Hey guys, it's new here." <laughs> I, I'm gonna go home and type up, "Hey, it's me, guys." <laughs> yeah, Shane makes a new account just to. <laughs> our nasty seven twenty two. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you guys. I told Shane when we went rock climbing, but um, I was looking at some stats. For the podcast, because Spotify has stats, I did not realize we have an 80% user retention, which means that 80% of people who start the podcast finish the podcast. Oh, that's great. Meanwhile, meanwhile, my YouTube videos normally have like max 60%, and those are the short ones, but the like longer ones have like 30%. It's actually kind of crazy. So that's a lot of retention, especially for an hour and a half podcast. We we appreciate you. It's probably just people like tossing it on on their way to the community. That's what what I do for for most podcasts. doing random shit. And like podcasts is something that you watch for its entirety, whereas like Siege, you can be like, oh, I just watch a few clips and that's Mm. it. Yeah. I would be interested to know like the the global stats on that, on like that kind of thing, you know? Like for most YouTube, like on the average YouTube video, unless it's like like a, I don't know, like a cinema sins or something like that. I'm usually just going to click through until I get what I want to yeah. see. It's yeah. always interesting seeing uh, stats on videos where you have um, a sponsorship. Because mm-hmm. it's like you can watch the graph for every second of the video. And then as soon as that sponsorship hits, it goes from like 80% down to 40%. And there's like a curve back up to 60. But you just get like that permanent 20% dip. Yeah, no it makes sense though. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's when like you like in people, the middle of a video, you're like, hey, this video is yeah, sponsored by whatever. Oh, and then people just click past it. Yeah. Yeah, I do Or that. some people just click off completely. They don't Well, it's back. like if I like if you if you're sitting at your computer with your mouse or a trackpad in your hand and you have the ability to skip ahead in the video, you're probably just going to skip. Th- you know what I mean? You're not just mm-hmm. going to sit there and watch the ad yeah. just because. I have mad respect for people who just do it at the end of the yeah the video so i can't talk too much because <laughs> a lot of them are like contracts and stuff but most companies that you do they're required with, to do it's it it literally says within the first two minutes yeah you can't do it that so doesn't crazy. surprise me but because of like everyone else is just gonna skip it and they get yeah. very little ads a lot of them are now switching to at the start of the video you say hey guys this video is sponsored by whoever watch till the end of the video to learn more and then like they get their name their brand recognition and then if anyone wants the deal they wait till the end that's mm-hmm. a better way to do it the only yeah. person's video i like watch their ad is david dobrik every single time yeah david i watch dobrik. that he makes vlogs, he's, right? he's so pumped about it he's like, and, hey guys, it's... and then he gives a car yeah because exactly. he has it set up when he gets like an ad on one of his things he's giving something away yeah oh that's mm-hmm. pretty cool well, it's like he didn't i don't know if you've watched it i don't watch your his comment videos, kind honest. of makes it sound like you've watched it but he did a a men's health interview okay where where he literally said it's kind of weird. Yeah, I definitely watched it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically said he said what Shane said. Where what? um, people expect that he's giving something away when he talks about a sponsorship. So they actually watch the ad. So it's like a weird thing where people watch his ad because that's they like know he's almost doing like a cool. fucking paradox. It's like if you run an ad to get money, but I'm gonna give something away. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. well, and then he probably gets more ad he money. He probably gets too, more ad money than giving it away. It, which is, that's just why he keeps doing it. But like, spirals out of control. It's a spin man. zone, man. How many, like, I guess, is there a way to track? Like, do people click through the ads off your videos? So, almost every link that I'm given when I do a sponsored one is a tracking link, or like it's just a custom link where they can see how many clicks there were. And then when you click on it, if you buy something, it tracks with cookies, and then the website knows, like, okay, Ooh, this person bought this cookies. from this link and stuff Chocolate like that. Chip? So for a few of them, like, I've gotten numbers back from companies, which I can't say, obviously, but, like, how Dude, many don't sales... Be, don't be soft, bro. Five <laughs> million. But, like, how many sales I've brought to them, how many customers I've brought in. Like, one of them, I won't say a name, but, like, they were like, oh, you brought in 200 customers That's with bad. one oh. ad. So I was like, it's pretty good. Good job, guys. Click the link below. Yeah, click the link below. <laughs> That's pretty interesting, actually. I I find like the business side of like YouTube and Twitch so interesting. How mm-hmm. does like a whole they had to literally create laws just to govern it because it grew so fast. Well, now there's the whole thing of like COPPA, which I still need to look more into because everyone's telling me to like panic. But I get to the COPPA. Heard... <laughs> yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I've heard no. Re- so basically, Is that like an accent. There was an accent saying COPPA. <laughs> it's a Children's Online <laughs> Privacy Policy Act or something. Okay. Oh, that's um, why. That's why I saw a video about it. So. You. I, I need to watch it's pretty fucked. I need to watch some stuff on it because apparently I don't know everything. But basically what happened was then the US a court ruled that YouTube should not be tracking uh, data and or serving ads to kids like the little kids fair, because fair. what they were doing was basically like you're a little kid. You're watching fucking Teletubbies on YouTube and well, like, you're getting ads for stuff that you're watching. Like, again, and TV is so heavily regulated that mm-hmm. YouTube just kind of snuck in. Yeah. So, so it's only well, a matter of time. So. So the issue is that the court ruled that you can't track data on kids, which means that now all YouTubers have to say that their channel is either made for kids or it's not made for kids. And yeah. apparently if it's made for kids, you won't serve any ads at all, which I don't know if it's true or not. I'm pretty sure they still give ads. They just don't track what you're watching. So they'll just give you generic ads for kids. Um, and then if it's not, then the one thing that people said I should be concerned about is that if you flag your channel as not for kids, but then for some reason it were to go to court, and the government's just, or the court's just like, no, your channel actually is for kids. Even though you say it's not, you can be held liable for that. Well, how, do you, how the fuck are you supposed to prove that? You know what I mean? Well, so the good thing for us is that we you swear a shit swear ton. A so <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I think it's like, like, even if there's one fuck bomb or F bomb, whatever. <laughs> fuck bomb. <laughs> fuck um, bomb. Um, how, you do, there, how, do you, how do you do with fellow kids? <laughs> um, but anyways, it, even if you drop like, if you drop fuck once, it's not for kids. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So like I I, so I know need, a few you things. You need to swear once per video. Basically, mm-hmm. nice. it's just like the scary ones where you're like, oh, I'm gonna do like Minecraft, and you don't swear at all, and they're like, this is for kids, and you said it's not for kids. So it sounds like maybe I'm just like a paranoid conspiracy theorist, but it sounds like YouTube is like just another way to kind of restrict ads on channels and save. Well, it's, it's, but it's not like this costs. is it's not because YouTube wants to. It's because like. The court literally said you have if to oh, do wait, this. Oh, wait. So, the, like, the court, court ordered YouTube yeah. to do this. Yeah. If YouTube had oh. it its way, they'd be giving ads to kids all the time. Man, yeah. That's the weirdest thing, too, because I was actually talking to my most recent manager about this at a lunch. And she said, all of the Ontario schools, they do a lot of online learning now. And it's <clears> mostly <throat> through iPads. Mm-hmm. And they literally, the kids have to skip through ads during their learning. Really? It's fun. So, as a parent, your kid is, like, supposed to be there learning. And they're they're watching ads. <laughs> they're probably going home, being like, "I want this, I want that, I want this too." That's that's messed up. Imagine like being in an elementary school and being able to use an iPad. Kids yeah. have it so nice. That's these what days. Rob took away from all this. <laughs> yeah, Rob's like, "Ooh, iPad." <laughs> He's like, "These kids have more technology than me." I literally, I have a six-year-old phone and an Xbox and a computer. Hey, me too. So fuck me. And an iPad. I wish I had an okay. iPad. But yeah. Me too. Um, I got hey. it for free. This whole, yeah, this whole kid friendly thing just seems kind of fucked. I remember watching a I think it was like Keemstar again. So obviously no, not the most good, credible bro. source, but I don't know. It just Gee. seems like, like, what's your take on this, Christian, as a YouTuber? Well, like I like I said, I haven't looked too, too much into it. But for me, like, I don't see the issue. Like, I've never There's been. There's a lot of people freaking out about it, like online and shit. I think the people who are freaking out are the ones who are on the fringe of, like, they don't swear in their videos, but their videos aren't necessarily made for kids. So, like, they're worried about getting caught in, like, the, yeah. oh, your channel technically is for kids, but you said it's not. Um, and then for me, it's just, like, I have no concern at That's all. That's so weird because, like, who's to say your channel is one, like, my, the intent of my channel is to not be for kids. They're like, no, it's for kids. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like well, so okay. How, how, so the reason judgment call on that. Uh, the reason why, from what I heard, 
I don't know how reliable it is because it was someone in Twitch chat who told me. So ah, um, the reason why that's really, a concern that's really reliable. is because <laughs> if you say your channel is made for kids, apparently they won't run any ads. But if you say it's not made for kids, they will run ads, which means that everyone's just going to say they're not made for kids. Yeah. Then. So if you say you're not made for kids just so you can make money, but it is made for kids, then they're like, okay, you're just trying to get around it. You're held liable. So but that's like, where they're trying to get you. It's the internet. So if I, if I say it's, it's not domain. made for kids and I don't swear, I, I guarantee you the same amount of kids will watch that than if I say it's for kids and I say fuck. Yeah. Well, like some kids not going to care if it, you swear. Yeah. But the government does. But, but but I mean, like, yeah, I the, guess. The weird one is also that it's the U.S. government, and it applies to all YouTubers everywhere, not just ones in the Isn't, U.S. Doesn't jurisdiction come into play? No. Well, I guess because the U.S. US company. Is, or mm -hmm. Yeah, YouTube is a U.S. So, like, what? So, the, you use their platform, so therefore... It's, yeah, oh. so it's any content that's on their platform. God damn, there's some loopholes in law, sense. man. Fucking hell. It's not a loophole. Wait, wait that's a literally the, like... Well, not that's loophole, how it should but, be. like... Way know. to sneak a dam in there, Robert. Yeah. I appreciate damn that. Damn it. <laughs> Darn it. Dang, nab it. I can't wait to play Fortnite later. I guess I haven't played Fortnite Podcast lately. Podcast 15 so. is just going to be like constant swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck bombs everywhere. More swear words than uh, than normal words or non-swear words, I guess you could call them. But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Rob. I forgot already. Anyways, new season tomorrow? Oh, yeah. So we should probably talk about that. Um, yeah, so right, Mike, you to get more water. <laughs> yeah, they, they. Um, but the new season of Siege is coming out tomorrow. <laughs> I just put my face in the Drew's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I farted while I did that, too. It was a fucking... Anyways, new season of Siege comes out tomorrow, which... Uh, I honestly... I'm getting a little upset at Ubisoft because they used to give us, like, a week notice. They'd be like, okay, new season's coming out this day at this time. And, like, slowly each season now, they've been doing, like, okay, we're giving you two days notice, one day notice. And I think last season, they gave us, like, 10 hours notice. Where it was, like, the night before at 10 p.m., they're like drops tomorrow at eight like oh shit see at least you know it's kind of coming so you can slow up on content well yeah so that's been my thing for like the last week and i'm sure you guys have or shane probably has mainly noticed is oh. that uh like i'm now working day to day normally in a normal season i got like five videos ahead of schedule or sometimes even more and then i can just kind of relax yeah and yeah coast basically whereas now it's just like okay do i make more videos or do i just do day to day and just wait for the announcement to go uh -huh. That's interesting. <laughs> What's up, Drew? You're giggling. <laughs> yeah, so I over the weekend, I stuck my thumb in a ceiling fan. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Completely accidental. I was, trying to, I was trying to shake out a duvet and put it on a bed, oh, but I was standing gosh. on a chair so that I could get like... I was going to say, duvet. how else could you reach it? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I needed it because it was too long, right? I had to let, shake it out, and I like threw it up in the air to put it on the bed. My thumb just went right into Bree's fan. Oh, God. And then I messaged Shane... And I'm like, dude, I stuck my part. thumb in a ceiling fan. He's like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> there was one in my room. And I was like, I just watched it. I was like, I wonder if this would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, that's the thought I have. Okay, well, mine was thing. an accident. <laughs> no, I put my like, my finger drunk. in. But like, it yeah. didn't, it didn't, it like was swollen the next day, but it was fine like three days later. Yeah, mine's like sore and then it's got a little cut on it. Oh gosh! Did someone kiss? It I better? just love that he messaged that, and I just pop in like the one time me I pop too. in a day. Yo, me too, man. <laughs> me too. I'm like, wait, what? You're not, you're not messing there, with me? Like, what? There is something about sing fans that makes you want to put your hand like in it. I had to try, at least yeah. for me, at least. Well, the, I think mm -hmm. the worst part was it was literally on full speed. Oh Ooh. gosh! Yeah. I just yeah. you didn't slice it. it was pretty much a buzz saw at that point. Well, so then I looked because it's not like one of the plastic thin ones. It was like a wood. The it was like cardboard almost. Like a like a thicker cardboard. A fan made of cardboard. Yeah, I don't know, just man. Just brown cardboard. But it saved my like honestly, <laughs> it saved my eye. Like otherwise, it would have been a broken thumb for Yikes. sure. Probably probably fragile. So the know. last resort I was at, we had a big fan too, and this time like stuck my finger. Didn't it was just warming up, so it didn't hurt that much. <laughs> but okay, the last one I had a pillow, and I was like looking up like, you how far to. will this pillow <laughs> fly? So I did it. Literally, it it started to snow dust. Oh, they didn't. They uh, had never cleaned the top of the fan. Oh, there was no. just fucking dust Yuck. everywhere, Where and I'm talking sleeping? little dust like chunks. Ugh. So yeah, don't don't oh, do that at like a snow. hotel or resort. I've been to one resort and it was just like grimy. That's the best word I could, I could use to explain it. Where was this? This Cuba trip? Cuba. It's like hey. we kind of cheaped out because idiots. Well, I told I gave my roommates a budget, like a strict. Wait, how budget. much is cheaping out? Like, how much did you actually pay? Uh, twelve seventy five or something. In the so end. literally, so I paid a thousand. 
to go to Dominican. You paid a thousand, and then you had such a better place than we did. It was a thousand seven. Yeah, you're going to Cuba. What's the difference? What do you mean? Cuba's fucking gross. Yeah. Cuba, like on a scale of like be- beach wise, you're going to beach anywhere. Um, food wise, Cuba's like bottom as, four. as you can get. Correct. Dude, I was pissing out of my ass for the like, last three <laughs> days of that trip. Yeah. I think, yeah. but I think you'll get that kind of anywhere. That's I why so. I, I'd Cuba love... is notorious for being the worst. Though. Oh, by far, I'd love to go on a trip with you guys, but I don't think Drew could survive a day. Honestly, oh, man, I'm just that guy that gets all of the preventative. Uh, I did that, dude. I just mix in fucking Pepto yeah. the whole dude, time. Dude, I, I like... took like pills that were supposed to like not give you, you know, yeah, yeah, AIDS. Yeah. The runs. Oh. But that's an AIDS. So there's a pill for that. I'm your, sure your you Tetris shot. If I'm going somewhere, it's just like a Duke Roll and Pepto smoothie. Ooh. Wait, did you say the Tetris shot? Yeah. Tetris. Yeah, you got to be careful. <laughs> I don't want Tetris, bro. Those Get blocks, smoked in the face with you. a flying block. <laughs> yeah. Got to be covered. Hello, that was enough. Yeah. You rotated the wrong way and you're oof. You're fucked, man. But, um, I was just let down. How much did you drink? Like a lot. Well, like, that's a, so that could also be why you're. You had to drink. pay for all or unlimited drinks, right? Nope. Oh, it's just no. included. It's, all that's included. Every, no matter everything you see, you can just oh, wait, take. No, you paid for the drinks at the. So there airport. was like a, a there's like a a side casino slash um like a Dominican casino slash you know? p- like club off to the side which like we can get into it's great oh gosh but um for the actual drinks yeah i didn't but i i, I calculated like everything i had drank and on it like on the slowest day i had like 13 vodka oh lemons. yeah on the dude slowest for br- no so here i'd be <laughs> take it slow <laughs> man we had a 13 routine vodka lemonade we had a later. routine so we would get like three or four mimosas to our room just crush them go out for breakfast more drinks at breakfast usually mimosas take a little break from like one till like three go to the beach kind of hang out and then from like four onwards, it was just crushing, bro. Like, man, I don't know. I I feel like I would not be good on a trip with you guys you, because I normally drink like maybe two or three drinks at night. It's, I was, it's significantly it. different, yeah. though. It's hard to explain. No, I guess yeah. But like, it's friends. it's a different environment, and it, like you almost want to just be drinking the so, whole time. I usually don't. I'm usually the same as you, or I'm like my, I have like five beers and I have my itch scratch for the night. So but did like, you did you have like a, a period where you nap for during the day? We didn't actually nap too much just because so we were like this was the yeah. first trip I didn't nap at all. Um, and my, my routine was like literally wake up, go to the ocean, like have breakfast yeah. and then in the ocean, <laughs> yeah, but then for, my breakfast. for some fucking fish, but then have lunch, sit in the pool for like five, six hours. And then you have your like Bubba and, um, yeah. your what? Like a Are big a Bubba mug, just like a big yeah. thermos. It's a type of mug. I don't know how to explain it. They, like have... they give that to you? No, no, no. You get it. You're, you buy it yourself. Oh. It's like a football with a handle on it. Sort of. Literally. Yeah. And you fill it with drinks. But the thing yeah. is like, you don't really think of it. Like they fill it with drinks. It's like three times the normal drink. Cause it's huge. And you go through maybe two or three at the pool, yeah. have dinner, and then we'd play. We were we just line up at the table. And we were playing King's Cup. We were playing drinking yeah. games. So it'd be like, like three, maybe six drinks during the day. So that's like a eight hour period, and then a four hour period. You'd have twelve. Yeah. <laughs> so the if, most, if we ever go on a trip, what I'm gonna do is for the two weeks before the first day, I'm gonna start with one drink at night, and then second day two drinks until like. The day before we go, 14 drinks just so I Again, can practice. you don't need to. Like, I didn't drink. Well, when was the last time we went drinking? I only drink with really you guys. Yeah. Sure. But you're different. And the you, thing is, too, it's like... Of. You have these, four stomachs. These yeah, drinks are, like, yeah. they're pretty watery and all about this big. Well, I see, it, I don't know. Like, for when they're doing, like, a vodka lemonade, it's like vodka lemonade. Also, for a, for, I, I you're a, talking about Cuba, where they probably yeah, put, like, like... Dude, my most in one day was 27. So I was like, there's definitely not a, not that much alcohol in here because this yeah. would knock a man mm-hmm. out. Well, again, I don't know. It's like paced through the day. It yeah. seems weird. You're, I know you're not getting the best quality alcohol. You can, at the place I was, they had the nice stuff to the side you asked for, but I'm like, I'm happy with not yeah. tasting vodka all day. I'm happy with just a buzz. Like, yeah. Fuck. No, so, it was definitely more than a buzz. But, Jay, do yeah. you have a drink list? What's that? Do you have a drink list? What do you mean? You said you were going to keep track of all the drinks that you got there because you all recommend. Oh, dude, drink. after the first day, you just lose track. Of literally, like, like, well, no, I actually, but the ones I had, literally vodka lemonades, like we're talking 12 a day. So then <laughs> about like three days in and about like we're talking 30 plus vodka lemonades. I'm like, Christian told me, have a strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> so Drew, you'll love this. So what they do is they take, they take vodka, fill half the cup. Then take like lemonade, fill the other half, and then just take grenadine. And then, like, <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> Which is that's not at <laughs> all a strawberry daiquiri. Your strawberry daiquiri, <laughs> <laughs> just like the dirtiest Shirley Temple you've ever but seen. But I'm sitting there like, let's fucking let's go. go. This <laughs> is what I'm drinking. And then they had a drink called Mai Tai. I'm not sure what oh, was dude, in it. Oh, dude, Mai Tai. I've had a Mai Tai. It was but great. It's, it's like two types of rum, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, again, grenadine and something else. Amazing. I want to say it's like citrusy, sort of. Mm-hmm. But like, and then really the only other it. one I had, I don't know what it was. It was like Yellow Bird. That's yeah. what it was called, but I have no idea. Monkey? No. 
So one of the guys I went with, um, <laughs> he monkey. the drink list was like I think thirty one long, and he did it all in a day. Yikes. Oh, what a beauty! And like, it, uh, it was like so. Like on the drink list, you have like a bunch of your just like straight gin drinks, like the stupid shit you'd probably enjoy. <laughs> um, you have like those those drinks with like the tomato juice in it. Oh, there was like that. three or four on the list that had Bailey's in it. So like imagine what this guy's stomach's going through. Tomato juice Turmoil. and bailey's in the same Absolute day. Turmoil. It's just it just there was like a like bloody marys. There was like oh, a, there gosh. was a dry martini on the list. What I the feel heck? it's like if you're gonna go through that list, that would probably be the best drinks to end on, right? Because then you just puke it all up right kind after. Kind of. So like he what he'd do is he like, for example, a bloody mary, like he, the one day he tried and got to that and just said, no, we're done. That. So he took Wait. it with like a Long Island iced tea. So something that's a, it's like four different alcohols mixed with iced tea. Yeah. So it's strong and it doesn't taste bad. Mixed with Coke, not iced tea. Is it okay? But yeah. regardless, it like just he, tastes like iced he tea. drank that Coconut with the Bloody shit. Mary yeah. to mask it, I like it, but still <laughs> disgusting. So you're telling me that he tried once, failed, and then, and then rallied did and did like two days later. Get this guy a fucking medal. Get him, get him a sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, no, he deserves it. You should have seen the picture. Well, I'll show you if I can dig him up. Like he would, like the pictures just of fucked. him after, just done, <laughs> just done. My and boy. he got within like I'll say like four or five drinks, and we we're like all sitting there. He's like, I'm just gonna go throw up and just make this last four drinks easier because like he was <laughs> a he's just full of just shit. Yeah. And B like he's like. I feel like I'm going to anyway. Might as well go do it now. Yeah. And then rally and drink the last Puke four. Puke and rally. That's at like 2 uh, a.m. <laughs> it's boot and rally. Puke and rally. Puke and rally. Puke and boot rally. And rally? What the hell is that from? Boot, it, that's the term. What's, no, it's puke and rally. Puke and no, rally. It's, it's not. Google yes, it. it is, brother. 3v1, man. There's two yeah, different three terms. 3 to, to 1. It might be American versus Canadian. You're not American. Yeah, you're Canadian. All the TV shows say boot and rally. I don't care. What do your I don't friends think, say? I don't think I've, I've never, never heard it. that phrase in my life. Yeah, I'll puke look and up rally. Puke. Look, he's literally puking and rallying. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says boot and rally on everything, but yeah, I also it Googled. It says puke and rally. No, it doesn't. Where does it say puke? What did you Google? You probably I, just... I looked up boot and rally. He, but... he types in puke oh, yeah. and rally. And then <laughs> yeah. just and but you're saying that that's not some... the term. It is. It's the same thing. Well, I've just never what? heard it. You mm-hmm. can't You can't Google the term you want to be the correct term. Have all the results come up for that. But you're saying like, that it's, it's not a term. term. You're like, no, it's puke and <laughs> now rally. Now Google puke and rally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll see the same thing. Okay. Just to like show how popular it is. I haven't looked at the other one yet. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a metric here, puke, man. Puke and rally has 172 uh, likes and dislikes combined okay. on Urban Dictionary. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Urban yeah. Dictionary. I remember grade puke five. Puke or boot? The puke one. Oh, boot has 174. <laughs> I get fucked. What was it? A Action. difference, of, difference of one? Two. <laughs> but boot and rally wins by two. Yeah, loses. Wait, is, okay. So boot and rally has 174. Let me make sure I got the math right. I've never heard it. Like, imagine being at the bar and someone goes, yo, just go boot and rally, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, dude, get the fuck out of my face. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to need I'm some origin puke. on boot and rally at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Boot and rally wins by two. Let me Show me, show me puke and rallies. Who cares? I don't, I don't believe this guy. 134 and 38. It, it literally says 175. <laughs> he just accidentally liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Rob, did you ever leave the resort? Yeah, we did an excursion to Havana. But like a paid for Havana, excursion. Yeah, gotcha. And it is a like it's half of it's really nice and half of it's just like rotting. That was the yeah. most depressing nice. uh, excursion I did ever. Yeah, Havana. There's like you go from like they have like a thing that looks like kind of like Capitol Hill in the states at, in Cuba. Yeah, like the embassy. I'm sure and exactly. It's gorgeous. It it's gorgeous. Literally across the street, there's like, like, bo- like I don't know. How, it's people who are so skinny, there you can see their bones and ribs poking out yeah. of them, and like. They're just like die, like, begging you for money, like grabbing out your clothes and shit. I'm just like, I told my people, my roommates, I remember, I was like, we were getting the fuck out of here as fast as we can, dude. I want to make a joke, but I feel like it's gonna be way too like I know. Yeah, sensitive. No, don't do it. What is it? No, I'm not. No, nope. <laughs> at the place we were at the beach, so like we were. <laughs> it's we, gonna be more at your expense than anything, but it's still too bad. We were the last resort and kind of like a chain of them. So as soon as you hit, like, there's a sign being like, no security past this point. Literally, there, you could just see trash. Oh god! Really? Trash washed up because at that point they don't clean. They don't care. It's yeah. it's literally there's a sign and then after that trash. Did um, you go? Did you go off the resort at all? No, literally this casino slash like I guess it was club was yeah. like I could walk there in one minute. So Just, technically, yeah, yeah, but no. Um, um, and this place was nuts. So the first time we went was Saturday. So we walk in, it's like shoulder to shoulder <sighs> packed, and like 
completely packed. First thing is you walk in, it's just a haze. Yeah. You can't see shit because you can still smoke in buildings down there. Uh, so you couldn't stars. see. It's you gross. couldn't see. It's it was gross. just like you're sitting in a like a cloud. Yeah. Um. And then every there was nobody dancing. Every single person in there was just kind of just standing there staring at everyone else. I'm like, what the? This f- is my yeah. favorite place ever. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is going? Christian but it was be thriving. It, it was such a weird vibe. Like everyone's just staring you down. You're like. Okay. I think that's walking into like a mafia drug dealer. Yeah. Or something. Like, were they crazy. all like natives or were they? Oh, they were all Dominican people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, like, they're lo- like the locals make you feel like you're a visitor. But there. the thing is, like, still nobody was dancing. It's like 3 a.m. Yeah. We're like, what? I don't get it. What are you supposed to do? They're all just chilling. Shane just whips out a Zippo and a cigar and joins in. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> Some. <laughs> but anyway, and then we go back Tuesday. So there's like, I don't know, like 30 people in it. So there's lots of space. We're dancing kind of on the second level. And Tuesdays, I have no idea, but there was a bunch of like strippers in it and it was insane. (laughs) So first off, like I didn't even notice, like there's this, this male stripper beside us just like going crazy. Um, and then I like, I look over and there's like two females, like halfway up a wall (laughs) with just like, like a thong bikini on just going nuts. I'm like, (laughs) <laughs> and Amanda's just looking at me like, what the fuck are you Kid doing? What store. have we gotten ourselves but, into? So we were hanging out with like these two guys, the random dudes we hadn't met. And um, they, the one came to him and started dancing with him. And like within like 30 seconds of dancing, turned and asked for money. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, they don't mess around at all. Literally. It gives you the preview. And then he's like, all right. He's like, all right. The yeah, pay up. You want to see my wiener? <laughs> no, no. These were the females. The guy was gone. Yeah. 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 You want to see my wiener? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <the females. laughs> but as I was leaving, she was coming up the stairs and we made eye contact for like, like two, three seconds. And that's like a long the, time. The other chick that's we were long, with. That's long eye contact. Yeah, the chick <laughs> we were with just like stops. Stairs at them. <laughs> the other chick we were with just like grabbed me and just came, like pushed me out and i was like i was about to ask her i had two dollars what will it get me <laughs> two dollars it's like oh that'll, that'll get you a kid down here <laughs> but yeah, Jesus. it was crazy it was uh it was quite the experience i remember uh one of now's friends telling us about how in greece he went to like a club that had like a live sex show. Yeah. Like have, you literally just sit there and you watch people have sex. I have friends who Yo, told me about that too, but they were in Turkey when this happened. Yeah. It's like apparently pretty popular in like Mediterranean <laughs> Europe. What? Yeah. It's so Why? It's just, it's what people do. Like it's their equivalent of like a strip club, I guess. They just watch people, but you can't like, can't do anything. You can't join. You can't <laughs> do anything to yourself. You, you can't you, record. You yeah. Don't, you don't get to sit at a desk or anything. You just get to sit there and drink. Yeah, you just sit there at the table and drink and That's watch the them have sex. That's the thing I've ever heard of, or I've ever heard of. That's like, a, I've heard of it before, but it's just all just so fucking mind It reminds me of the... Can you request? Like, hey, you know, switch it up? I don't you think can, so. But he's like, I'm, I'm getting Drew, bored of seeing this guy's Drew's ass. at the DJ booth like, yo, can you play Kesha TikTok? <laughs> 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 it's in the background requesting music. <laughs> um, they have really good rhythm to it. <laughs> <laughs> good hip, hip movement. The it reminds me of the meme where it's just like, are you really just in here watching porn by yourself? And the guys are like, no, I'm here with all my friends. <laughs> You're just at the live sex show. It's like, hang with my buddies. <laughs> yeah. The SpongeBob meme where it's like he has like that chip and like a coin and like a piece of napkin. And like he's just like it's like me and all my friends, like Mr. <laughs> chip, Mr. Nap. You guys know what I'm talking about? I Maybe. haven't seen yeah, that, yeah. but I can picture it. Okay. You almost come out the joy again. Almost. <laughs> we need to start coordinating that where like whenever Rob starts telling a story, we just all straight face. I mean, like Wait, I figured you guys have been doing that already, <laughs> but to some extent, you know. No, that's like these guys. They always no, mess with me. Never. Always We've done mess it twice. With me. And and then, I, no, I do it all the time. Discord? And then all the time I'm like, no, nah, you're just messing with me. They're like, we don't mess with you. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> literally mess Christian with me all the time. Christian says he does that. Well, you should, ex- lot, you should yeah. explain what, what it is. Is that It's everything, man. Drew, I can't, Drew I can't will mute himself. And then, <laughs> like, we won't hear him. And then for half an hour, it just goes by. And he unmutes himself. He's like, oh, I thought you guys were messing with me. Like, that you guys were just ignoring me. Like, we're not going to ignore you for half an hour. Yeah. Man, you would. We, we've done it you, twice. I will mute you. Yeah. There's, there's been times. Shane, Shane, Shane will. I'm too petty. I'll mute, I'll mute people. I have no issue with that. Shane, we played the other day on Conquest. And I was just, like, talking to myself for a while. Because I was like, oh, I guess Shane's just pissed off because we were losing. And then I was so half mad. an hour I was later. Mute. I muted myself. Yeah, he, he just muted. And, and then he comes back and he's like, oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, so funny. I, I like literally as we're losing, I'm like, dude, I was muted this whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that happens to me too. I'm just sitting there, like, so angry, like, Christian, fucking road. No, I wasn't at all. Like, we, 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 we were holding on. We were just holding on for dear life. So mm-hmm. we were doing as good as we possibly could. And there's just me being like, oh, like I died. 
Shane says nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're yourself. over here. The funny thing is, like, the, there's a couple of times like that was a good play. You took someone up, blah blah blah, and then just nothing returned. Like, okay, here. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember distinctly one time you, Shane and Christian, you guys were in a Discord, and like I joined, you guys, you guys weren't saying anything. I was like, hey. <laughs> Hey, and I was like, must be my Wi Fi. And then as soon as I said that, Shane's circle like loaded up just a little bit. And I was like, I know you fuckers right here. <laughs> I was like, yeah. you motherfuckers. Hosted. Yeah. Honestly, but. Can you imagine how often that would happen if Discord had a thing where it's just like users joining your channel in three, two, oh, yeah. one? Fuck that. It says nothing. You can't ambush anyone that way, though. Too much warning. What are you looking at me for, man? Just got a drink of water. Okay. <laughs> I, I just like staring at your beautiful face. My which people face? will hopefully be able to see next week. No mustache. Yeah, I was just about to ask that. Okay, no so we mustache. have the table. Our timeline. The table's lying there in the front door. I'm going to go caress it. We have the trestles. Beside Drew's Tim's, which are looking I nice. think what we're going to do is set it up uh, Saturday morning, and like everyone has to be here. Obligatory. Why? And work Saturday. That's he's the just, stupidest he's, thing I was going to say. Like, he's yeah. fucking yeah. with you. Okay. I was going to say, oh. I'm free like after work any day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to be affected by that, and I'm the only one that gets it. <laughs> Come Rob's on, like, man. what? I'm supposed to be up until 5 a.m. on Saturday. I was like, yeah. I was thinking to myself, like, you can't be serious. Like, Shane's got to work. I'll be this working. Guy, who is this guy? <laughs> but no, we'll probably you have to be here Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Um, Sharp. Well, so okay. This week, I have a busy like Tuesday, Wednesday because it's going to be siege content nonstop, and then I'm also going to try to get a tailored suit before I go to Vegas, oh. which we should also probably talk about. I'll actually be in, back in time for the podcast. I requested a Sunday night flight instead. For um, the people. But yeah, so we're gonna try to set it up this week. <laughs> I got to go to the tailor to get a tailored suit, and then we also got to go find the chairs. Which I- <laughs> What? Hey, sorry, Drew just spent twenty seconds like spinning his chair. I thought you were so. Stopping so I stop his chair, and he's like staring at you, like trying to figure out how are you stopping. The I thought chair. he was just looking at me because his knee touched no, my no, knee. He kept looking at you like, how are you stopping this chair? And it's just me with my foot holding this chair the whole time. I watched the whole thing unfold, unfold, and it was pretty funny watching Drew just being like this. Like and I see Shane's foot. Like <laughs> Christian's one foot's out of sight, so and then no, I yeah, because I'm like. Dude, how are you doing this? And why are you moving your foot there? <laughs> anyway, sorry uh, for interrupting. <laughs> that was a very important. So, we had to talk about it. <laughs> I'm going to go get a tailored suit. Uh, we got to go buy the chairs, which I still don't know what chairs we want because we haven't gone to look at any. I, we went, the, I, I thought you picked some. We went to Ikea. Well, the, the one was for the chairs that you guys are sitting in now. That's my... Oh, okay. Choice. You sent some picture of some ugly that ass police, chairs. Oh, that was jo- no. Oh, okay, because I was about to. I was like, again, like I, I checked, I checked my phone once a day, and on one of the one, I had this like these chairs look like shit. Uh, and then I deleted the message and just logged off. I was like, I don't want to roast if that's your what you're getting. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that was literally just the roast that drew because it was like oh. three normal sized chairs and then one kid chair. So I'm oh, like, gotcha. we have our chairs plus Drew's chair. <laughs> gotcha. Because again, I I had typed out like, what do you, these chairs look like shit? And then I just deleted. And I was like, ah, I. No. These are just like wicker fucking chairs. <laughs> yeah. But no, so we don't have chairs yet. Um, If you guys want, you can come with me to like the brick or something. We'll go look for chairs. Otherwise, I'm just going to get these bar stools. I like four them. of them. I, uh, yeah, I'll probably if it's I don't Friday. Why can we make the table? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I'm pretty I, sure. I feel like you should figure that out before you buy chairs. I'm pretty sure. So the trestle is the default height is as short as my desk. And it goes higher. Okay. You're so probably like, fine then. Because so, the trestles that are underneath my Lego desk right now are the non-changing ones. So the changing ones can go up like an ex- extra foot. Okay. So, so if the, you max them out, you're probably good. So our table... They, not even we'll less be, than we'll that. Be like yeah, sing, like we'll be like, like a bar Man, almost. Rob's yeah, thighs yeah. are like three feet wide. So like... <laughs> well, <laughs> I figured a bar type setting would be nice because like well, then we're all off the ground. We can like lean on the desk and the t- uh, the setup can be a bit different so that mics can yeah. be out of our way. We can have like an old fashioned. Speaking of we're Rob's thighs, well, he's yeah. the type of guy you sit down on a roller coaster beside and you're terrified because they bring the bar down. And yeah. like you got like a five inch gap between your legs and his and you look and you're like, you hit the first jump, you get air and you <laughs> smack back down in your seat. I'm, you're like wrapping your arms into it. Dude, my thighs, are, like, they're getting kind of fat though. That's the thing. When I my, my, when weight first starts coming on, it comes here first. That's the indicator. Really? It goes right to the booty and the thighs for Robbie. Yeah. I'm also power posing right now. Can you guys tell? Yeah. I also just have really bad gas. I'm trying not to fart. <laughs> I just give everybody. That's how you hold it in. Oh, yeah. So. Literally. Crunch the butt cheeks. The so. last thing that we need to get for the podcast is also the cameras, which I need to order. I've just been lazy. 
I'm just going to get two of these. But so, I also need to test to make sure that this camera can see everything. So what I'm probably going to do is like set up the table, test with the camera, but then the camera won't come in until like a week later. So it's going to be a hole. You just test with that one though, no? True. And can I can you just set like, up the table right I can set now? Up a that's frame. That's, that's my Excuse disconnect. Well, because like I wanted to record it all because that's they got like a time lapse yeah. setup. Yeah. Okay. So I I might I might actually do that. Like I'll you set maybe... the table up, time lapse, pause the time lapse, <laughs> set everything up. Or is that not how it works? I I can, but like it was. I'm gonna try to do like time lapse plus like or funny just... things, but I'll probably do the table <laughs> myself because it's just the trestles. Or you just set it up, take it down, then recreate it. <laughs> nah, I'm Fuck good. That. <laughs> Once you build some like IKEA or something, it's never gonna put back. True. To, never taken disassembled. True. I'd rather. I mean, I moved my desk home, and it's from IKEA. And instead of taking the legs off, I just like put it in sideways and just made everything fit around <laughs> it. Because I'm, I'm not taking a screwdriver when I get home. Fuck that. See, the trick for moving is to bring Shane. Why? Mm-hmm. Because me and him, primarily him, <laughs> unloaded. <laughs> moved his whole house up here in like an hour. Yeah, not even. It probably was like half an hour. <laughs> that's a blast. Shane's it's a like, workhorse. I was just like, oh. Shane just started. Just, let's, I just let's, showed up after work. And I was like, let's just get this over with. Yeah, and like I had my table. So I was just like, okay, what we're, we're going to do is like we're both going to lift it and we'll take it and we'll like go up. Shane literally just walks by me with the table in his hands. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Christian, you're back, man. You can't be doing that. Yeah, exactly. I got you. The only thing I think you needed my help with was the mattress. And that was awful because it was just, just dragged. Awkward. Yeah. Just awkward. Mattresses Taco are, tacos. Yeah. Getting shit up here would be kind of a pain in the ass, though. Well, that's why. It was a very clean move, in all honesty. Like, we did it real quick. Yeah. And that, that was, like, the big debate I had on stream where everyone was just like, you're not going to be able to move in a day. Like, this is going to be, like, a two or three day process. Oh, remember, yeah, but you had everything like, set up so well. You had the truck. You had everything. Yeah. And I was just done. like, this is literally one truck of things. <laughs> I just love fine. Andy talking. She's like, it took me and Monica, like, like three hours to fill <laughs> this. And you undid it in, like, 30 minutes. But yeah, I guess what'd you bring with you, though? Like, so, you like, set up and, like, all of our, like, the bed. Life mattress everything um all my computer stuff uh chairs or i like, find computer shit's the hardest to move because there's just so many moving parts to it yeah like, well I, I just put all my like peripherals in that box that's actually over there in the corner did we build these chairs i feel like i built these chairs no these what? chairs came built what what did which I was build? weird because they told us when we went to buy it they're like oh you're gonna have to build it to so come completely disassembled and we opened the box because it's like as tall as rob and it's just two chairs stacked on top of each other and they're like oh okay sick i take Sweet. it but uh we built the we built the Ikea cabinets, but that was before I moved. Yeah, I could have swore it was something out there, but I'm drawing a blank now. I don't know. Blanking. Just a disclaimer. I've stopped. I have no longer been able to hold in my farts. So it's kind of <laughs> sneaking out. Flatulent. It's all right. We're, we're almost done. Now. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can take, what's the, as the Vikings game? 7-7. Seven, seven. Really? Yeah. Can you see who, who's going to record the touchdown? I'm not, I'm not going that deep. 7-7. <laughs> oh, seven. God. 7-7 seven, seven after one. There's a chance. All of a sudden, he's back. I'm the biggest fan. I've never doubted them ever. <laughs> Mikey, <that's awesome. laughs> My entire body just tensed up, bro. <laughs> I kind of want Rob to like set up a Vikings flag or whatever in the podcast room. I just said so that. I said, no, no just, man, that's a just, stupid idea. Just so I can like Light draw graffiti fire on it or whatever. Draw yeah. graffiti. Put like a mustache or just put Banksy like Vikings over here. suck under it. <laughs> Banksy. And Banksy. <laughs> How pissed, sma- would, how pissed would you be if you put up a flag and I wrote like sucks underneath the bike? If, if you bought it, I would. Yeah, care. I was gonna say I think you'd only be pissed if he pay, paid. Yeah, money if it was for something it. I spent money. If you if you took one, my Diggs jersey and put something on it, I'd probably, I'd probably break your left wrist. Just literally like <laughs> gets paid like pays to take off the Diggs like the GS and puts just dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Rob probably wouldn't notice for a long time because the like the name's just on the back. Yeah, so you put yeah. the jersey on, walk around. What I do is I take it after. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna do my pregame ritual. I put on my Farb jersey, take it off, put on my Diggs jersey, take it off, and then give both of them a kiss. This is perfect. Without the ritual, they're gonna win, and now you had never have to do that stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you're not joking. Well, I well what? I wear my I usually wear my Diggs jersey the entire day before they play, unless I'm at work or something. And then the day of the game, I wear my Favre jersey, and then I have to go to the gym wearing these socks and my Eric Jim Peterson shirt. True. Do you? So I'm assuming on. you guys find this normal. Yeah, yeah. I as soon as this the leaf season yeah. starts, Matthew. Drew. Okay, Drew doesn't. At least <laughs> as, I have as someone soon on as my the, side. As soon as the leaf season starts, the Matthew jersey gets literally placed on that height, like that that director. That's stick, fine. I don't find and that it doesn't weird. Lo- and the day they lose the playoffs, I literally walk out there, hang <laughs> it, up. it off. That's a lie. We went to a Leafs game. You worked at a Leafs game. Yeah. The, the only exception is if I go to <laughs> yeah. a game. I, so, that's fair. I think that's fine. Like just hanging it up is whatever. But like actually putting on a jersey, taking it off, and then kissing them. 
kind of funny. That's really fucking weird. I really want to know why I started doing it. Was because I did it before that game where Diggs had that catch against the Saints two years ago. It was like, just like a miracle. Some miracle happened, and I had happened to do it the day like before. Just well, like not exactly. Like, I could just kind of stumbled my way into doing he's that a, routine. He's elaborated on it since then. Because like the initial, uh, my thought process was never I'm going to take this jersey and put it and then take it off right away. It was I put my Favre jersey on. I was like, you know what? I'm just not really feeling the, the juice today. Took it off. <laughs> the juju. Put on my Diggs jersey. Then I was like, you know, I'm not really feeling the juice today either. I don't really want to wear a jersey. Took it off. Then I, I just Kissed happened. To show I, just happened I was holding them both in my hands. I was just like, you know. And, <laughs> and then, then I just watched the game. Miracle yeah. happened. Now I need, this is a serious question. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do you actually think that that impacts the game at all? Oh, 100%. Yes, it does for sure. <laughs> like you're not it's like It's like, okay, it's like when I go up to a stoplight, I'm like, please, Lord, let this light turn green. Turns green, boom, someone yeah. answered. Exactly. <laughs> or it's, like, it's the same thing. It's the same and thing. Take this, man. It's exactly like my son gets shot, a doctor comes in, saves his life. Thank you, God, for saving his yeah. life. Exactly. It's the exact same shit. God have, and God alone saved my son's life. Have you ever seen life. those memes where like the doctor walks into like the kid's uh, room and he's just like, sorry, Timmy, you didn't get enough likes on Facebook. You're going <laughs> to die. Dead. I saw one I someone say you didn't get enough thoughts and prayers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're done. <laughs> Wait, so you actually think that that affects this like thing? Like if you you oh. think right now, since you didn't do it, that Vikings are going to I'm lose. nervous. It affects my mental sanity. Like, Yeah, you know. Seriously? Miracles can happen the other way. He doesn't do his ritual; they still win. Miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Miracle. Like I'm, I'm at a I'm loss for words I'm a little right schizophrenic now. knowing that I didn't. Wear that's my not, jersey that's today. not what schizophrenia is. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> He's a little dementic because. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking Yikes. out. You're fine. Maybe. Maybe I'm freaking not, out. Oh the Vikings God. better win, man. It's if cold. not, I might cry. <laughs> this might be the thing that pushes him over the edge. Yeah. First, the job, <laughs> now Vikings. <laughs> Dude, I'm even wearing nice clothes today, man. Like you can't be ribbing me like this. Oh, oh I can't wait to see, or I can't wait to see what I look like if I actually get a nice suit. There's one like just down the street from us that I'm gonna go. Yeah, to this yeah, week. Should I take wore, a picture in it. Or tie to work today. <gasps> True. You work like right across from it. Yeah. Come with me. No. To what? No. Oh, get a suit. <laughs> to, where, where are you gonna go tomorrow? I don't get lunch yet. You're going tomorrow? No, after work. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. You're going maybe. tomorrow. Next week. No, yeah. No, not tomorrow. Don't, Tomorrow's don't fucking Drew season drop. Dude, next my, next Fuck Monday. Fuck the new season, bro. It's Thursday. Sure. Next Thursday. Who cares about the new season, man? I leave in like two weeks. Okay. So okay, you're that's fucking I can't go that. this week. What yeah, do you, it's going to take get? like 30 minutes. No, no don't. don't. He has to pass can't his risk test. Bring your study notes. He has to pass can't his no, test. No, can't risk it. Drew has to pass. You're buy me a custom suit. I'll come with you. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, you can't risk it. No, hey, you hear what he's offering over can't here? Can't risk Drew, it. A new suit or passing a test that determines your... The suit's worth more than the test. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. Well, the test is worth yes. a thousand. <laughs> no. But to him, they still going to have to drop that thousand again. <laughs> the, the, the intangible rate, value. like 1500 Oh. Wait, what? For a test, man. I got to get in the, the business The exchange rate? It's all yeah, in it's US in dollars. Yen. Oh, US dollars. The US dollar is not in yen. <laughs> It's, it's, it's in like twelve fifty. It's in it's in the Turkish what? pound, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man, the dollar's at like one point three right now. Is it? So it's not gonna be fifteen hundred. I know, but it was thirteen hundred US. Oh, thir- and, okay. Yeah. Wait, man, the price just keeps going up each time. He's just... no, it's just that other people are saying the price instead of me. <laughs> you said it was a thousand, Shane. Who got the touch? You <laughs> did, <Rob>. No. <laughs> I don't believe well, you. I, I'm pretty sure I know how much I paid. Shane, what are you doing back there, buddy? Was a cock. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR Vikings edition. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look at me, man. I'm about what, to what fucking a, what explode. A pair. Are you just fucking torturing me right now? Yeah. Is that, is that you Call it. <laughs> Call it. Oh. I guess time of death. Yo, if you, if you don't call, I'm just gonna start yelling. <laughs> and then 8. what? 56. <laughs> And then, oh. what? and then it's just a normal podcast. All right, Rob, tell you this. If okay. you can find a topic for us to end on, then you'll... Uh... Well, that was the topic, the, yeah, Vikings. the yeah, Vikings. Vikings. No, no, you got to come up with one more topic to end on. Right. We'll Elvin end Cook being the, the best running back in the league. Something that's not sports related. All right. All right. Uh, I'm what's, gonna... what's your favorite... I have to pee real bad. What's your favorite species <laughs> of bird? Oh. Peacock. Mine's got to be cardinals. What's Blue your, jays. What's your, favorite, what's your favorite beef meat to make a burger out of? Pork. Fucking, I don't know, dude. Beef, ground know. pork. You mean? Wait, oh, what's your favorite? What do you mean, beef meat? What's your favorite like, beef? Like you got chuck, you got Angus. Oh, I thought, got... I thought beef, beef was a kind of meat. No, oh, I actually Rob's do. Favorite beef meat is pork, so maybe we should end on that. <laughs> <laughs> I do have, I do have one thing to add, just because it's the end. Um, that reminded me. Remember when we were talking about pranks? Okay. And 
when the one I almost pulled on Rob, but Shane stopped me. Yeah, cause a he, good guy. Because he said that you, you would fucking kill me if I did it. What was it? Was oh. when <laughs> I thought it was really, really funny, yeah, but yeah. I was like, Ugh. they were laughing because they were like, this would be hilarious, but I didn't do it. Is when you Snapchatted me your beta code for Call of Duty. And it was like a code that would work on PC, oh, Xbox, yeah, or PS4. Fucker. And I was like, I pulled up the launcher and I was like, I'm going to redeem it so that Rob can't and just piss him off. But then Shane's like, it would be hilarious, but you can't do that. Rob would actually kill yeah. you. I think and I, think I was going to say, I was like, I would have bought cried. you another code. Just <laughs> I think that like my brain would have lost the ability to sense between like, you know, oh, you just joke and not everything. joke. And I would have yes. just came in here guns blazing. Just what like, For a beta code? <laughs> throwing your PC out the window. Call of Duty. It's not a beta code. It was it's a beta Call code. Call of Duty beta code. Oh. <laughs> Come on. My man. apologies. Rookies, right? Wow, this guy. The, who invited this guy, eh? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. We'll end it there. But um, might just start a podcast, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, so next week is the last podcast before I go, and then I'll be back in time just for the next oh, one. Bless up. Sweet. Um, hopefully, I'm not too tired. I'm going to actually upgrade for a first class on the way back because it's only like $600. Ooh. Oh, only, yeah. Only. <laughs> Well, the flight no well, okay the, <laughs> i i mean it's 600 dollars for the flight overall yeah, and yeah. since they pay for my base flight it's 300 dollars to upgrade so it's like 300 dollars for first class no wet shoes bad. in my tesla is a lie i heard yeah true no yeah. no 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 dirty shoes in my tesla it's yeah. gonna suck i'm gonna be going to the fucking desert and then coming back to oh gosh canada you're gonna be coming back in there, peak winter bro as long yeah. as you don't step in the white on white you're good because like late november early december is like that first like initial hit of winter and no one's used to it yet mm-hmm. no one can drive no one else had to salt their sidewalks <laughs> everyone's just dumb We're as just hell angry. man <laughs> what can you do tell us how you really feel around uh, my brain is just thinking about the purple and yellow right now man. yeah we've lost them <laughs> We've lost the poor guy. All right, we'll end it there to save Rob Sandy. See you guys next week. Let's go, Vikings! Bye. Go, 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 go.